guys this is my first time i don't know if anyone's here or what's happening i don't know how any of this actually works on this app no look i says zero, zero. but that's okay if no one shows up we'll just have a fun time here's oh here's a chat okay um okay great who um great what, great what like site are you streaming restream Okay. Yeah, I've never. Uh... Don't you normally stream on TikTok? Yeah, but we're doing it on YouTube today. Okay. Yeah, okay. It says YouTube only. Okay. Because we're trying to force people to come to my YouTube page. <laughs> Fair. Mostly. Understood. It's one of the big ones. Um, you know. Oh wait, I can go to this YouTube on YouTube. this computer. Are you doing nothing with anything? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is a PG Got event. It. Yes. Understood. <laughs> Oh, sure. Reel it in. <laughs> oh, except it still says Mock blog. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Idle, but there's three people here, TJ. There's three people here, where one of them's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Welcome in, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so anyone who's just joining in, welcome to the first live stream of Drag Red Dragon's Tale. Uh, this, for anyone who's joining in, is the brand new D&D set from Lego. It's coming out on April 1st, um, and we're going to be kind of game testing. I mean, not game testing it because it's already out. Well, you know, it will be. <laughs> preview, not game test, preview. Okay, so uh, we are just going to hop right in once I get all ready. Uh, um, so are, are we playing an adventure that came with the set? Yes. So this set, anyone who's watching, will come with this book. Oh, look, I can show it on this close camera. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, this is the uh, Red Dragon's Tale, uh, which is the campaign adventure that is set with this set. Uh, and it gives you all the characters, all the adventure. The entire set is a map for this campaign. Uh, when you buy the set, you will get the PDF version included, or you can exchange some Lego Insider's points for the physical copy. So... We are gonna get started. I feel like I need to get some music going for like a little ambiance. For a little, yeah, a little ambiance thing going. Yeah. Uh, doctor, hi, hi, Gary, hi, doctor, hi, crazy. Welcome in, guys. Um, so let's let's. I, I, I've never. I, it's been years since I DM. Mm -hmm. So uh, ambiance for a hot wings joint. Is it just angry <laughs> drunk men? It's yeah. TV? It's just like yes. Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> just full of our friends. <laughs> <laughs> just watching like boxing or whatever, <laughs> or like or, like sea shanties or something. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this says medieval fantasy ambiance, so we'll just go with that. Amazing. Oh, except for the ads. That's embarrassing. Huh? No Jan. No Jan. <laughs> Jan. The lady who runs the shop. Oh. Oh, Alex Jane Scales. Jane Scales. Yes. I got you. I was like. Dude, this is Jeremy. <laughs> I know, I thought you were trying to do something too. I was like, that's not even close, sweetie. Like, you might need to get your uh, I, mean, I do. I need a new prescription, that's true. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So, we're going to start off. We'll have you guys introduce yourselves uh, to the viewers and a little bit to each other. Um, in our game, our characters, our players already know each other, but just so the players can get a little bit more familiar. So, who wants to start off? Okay. Oh, oh, that wasn't a me first. No. Oh, that That's how you point to yourself. I'll do it. <laughs> uh, hi, everybody. I'm Billy. Uh, I'll be playing uh, this elf. Can I put it right here? Is this going to work? Yeah. Oh, this so is Jeremondriel Lotharion. Uh, you can call them Jeremy for short. Um, they are an elven wizard. They are currently adventuring because they are failing uh, their application of practical magic class in their wizarding college and they have to basically go get enough extra credit by adventuring uh to pass that and then also graduate uh so they have they have two goals here one is to find some sort of magic item on their adventure to take back to the school um to show obviously like as a trophy the other is they have basically like a waiver or a permission slip that someone in the adventuring party has to sign that says through their use of practical magic jeremy was a be was a benefit to this party so those are those their two immediate goals as of right now. Excellent, Jeremy. Okay, I'm I'm Dylan. Um, I will be playing uh, Radon Symes. This is this is him. Uh, uh, he is a gnome fighter soldier. 
Um, and the reason he was out on the road is because um, his older brother is who's really lazy, but he's just this pretty boy and his dad loves him and he has the birth the birthright right now. Um, so in order to prove to my dad that I should and the rightful heir of the birthright, um, I wanted to become a hero and like true adventurer. So I ran into Jeremy on the road and uh, I was like, hey, you're out on assignment. I'm out trying to prove a point. So let's just let's just go in together, man. Perfect. Um, I'm Jack. I'm playing Torin Dustborn. Ooh, weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's a, a dwarf cleric, and he's here for Wings Wednesdays. <laughs> Wings Wednesdays at the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Tirza. Um, my voice is gone, um, but I'm playing an orc, so it works. Um, he, I can't know. I don't know if this is like yeah. so <laughs> Um, she's an orc fighter. Her name is Glob, um, and she <laughs> and she's also here for Wings Wins. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, anyone who's watching, maybe it's zero people, maybe it's 20 people, I don't know. Um, this is, from now on, we're just going to kind of play and you guys will get to watch, but I'm going to not be interacting too much with you all because uh, my brain can't do that many things at once. Um, but we hope you enjoy it. This will be kind of a unique campaign because I haven't DM'd in years. Um, I'm, I usually play, not DM. And because uh, we are using a Lego set as our uh, map for this campaign, which is going to add it some unique challenges. Normally, when a DM has a map, they're able to, you know, add rooms or erase things or, you know, draw new things or it's on a screen. They can reveal things, but it's all just right here. So I'm going to be trying to make sure that uh, things are visible and able to be seen um, for the players to interact on the map, but also not give away any surprises, which is going to be a nice little challenge there. So we will go ahead and get started. <clears throat> So, welcome travelers. After a long day on the road, apparently some of you have been adventuring and some of you just came for the wings, <laughs> you come to an inn built into the remains of a crumbling stone tower. Hey, do you guys want to come join as an audience? <laughs> what uh, I eating? Person who said that they wouldn't be able to play today? I thought his shoot was in the afternoon. It was Rude. the morning. It was my fault. I'm sorry. It's That's okay. It's That's on your place. I'm not yeah. playing. Um, <laughs> Uh, you come to the remains of a cr an inn built into the remains of a crumbling stone tower. The inn plain sight smells of delicious hot wings. Ooh. It's said that the proprietor, Alex Jade Scales, makes them fresh to order. Peering inside, you find that the inn is empty. Oh, but I can't get it. There we go. Empty. Okay. <laughs> we got our little mini figs. Oh, yeah. Get up in there. Just, just, so, you've arrived at the inn. What would you like to do? I feel like as a regular at this point on Wednesdays, sometimes like I don't know if is this abnormal for them to for nobody to be there. Um, you, I don't think you've been to this particular okay location before, but it, it, you just heard uh, you've heard of the good things about the wings here made by Alex Jade. We've been trying different wings for different places. <laughs> Um, it, it does seem like for somewhere that you've heard of before, mm -hmm. it's weird that no one is here. Okay. I'm going to act like a pro, like a regular, uh -huh. okay. kind of assert my regularness mm -hmm. and, uh, just go pour us some to drink. You're just going to walk inside? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's enter the tavern. Oh, nice. Yeah. There we go. Oh, sorry. Let me move right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hop in. I see the wing. <laughs> As you enter the tavern, the door to the back room, which I'll just go like this actually, because this is the door to the back room. Uh, the door to the back room swings open, and this guy appears. An innkeeper comes out to greet you. Oh, I'm afraid you've come at a bad time. We're closed for renovations, but I'll be happy to make you some hot wings to help you on your journey. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. That's so nice of you. That's what, that's, what I mean. that's really what we came for. So we can really use some sustenance. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Uh, my name is Mary Rumwell. Um, and uh, how many hot wings will that be then? What? 
four a piece or something. Four. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'll Eight. Say 40 <laughs> hot wings. Oh, all right. 40 there, 40 here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 41. Yeah. Four, 40, yeah, 40, 40, 40. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be good with a solid like dozen, I think. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm, yeah I'll, I'll just bring four. out all of them that I have <laughs> and uh, we'll just go from there. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Now, are they, I, I'm sorry. Are they chicken wings? Are they like, like a turkey wing? Is it like a, like a cockatrice wing? What are we working with here? This is <laughs> Uh, Definitely, I like to taste it before I find out what it's made of. But good point. point. <laughs> I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave that to your discretion okay. if you want to know afterwards. I'm just saying, if it's like a cockatrice, it's are huge compared. It's okay. okay. Yeah, you can tell them any little Um, actually, it's okay. As, just tell them it's still a little quiet because I don't know what's going on there. Um, so uh. Mary Rumwell returns back into the kitchen and uh uh let's see, I think this would be uh who's who's the perceptive one? What are your passive perceptions? I am not perceptive. I am nine. I have a plus one to wisdom. I have plus five. Um, but I am a uh, proficient in perception. Let's see, I put plus two wisdom. Looks like Jeremy's got a passive of fourteen. And Torin has fourteen. 14. Yeah, Glob. Oh, Glob has Glob 15. Also has, so that should probably uh, Glob does notice with a passive perception of 15 that it looks like Mary is not actually making any wings, but just reheating some previously made wings mm -hmm. uh, and bringing them out to you. But uh, here you are, my friends. Uh, you can take, the, you, take these to go. You know, you don't need to sit around. You've got all the construction debris and everything around right now. So uh, you can just take them on your way if you like. And... Uh, Thank you for stopping in. Uh, that will be uh, uh, one gold piece for the ones who are having a normal amount and uh, four gold piece for the ones who are having a very large amount. Do I catch a look from you? Because I know we're we're big on wings. Reheated wings? I feel like for you would immediately... Wings. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know. Just, just reheating it. I feel like... Will we let that fly? I mean, I... I don't know what kind of vibes are we getting from him. He's reheating them, but like in a nefarious way. I mean, you it, <laughs> it looks to you like he's using some simple magic to reheat the wings. Mm. If I hear reheated, yeah, I don't know if he's going to be good to be honest. Can I make an insight check? I'm say that's so where I'm going. going. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I feel like him coming out and like rushing us out of here. It's like, uh, oops. yeah. What what's your Oh, so uh, just so you guys know, I do blind checks for these kind of okay, things cool, cool. Um, so that you won't know if it's real or not. So what's your insight? My plus two insight is... Plus two. Uh, <laughs> forgive me here. I used to know how to read. Plus one. Plus one. Um, I'm going to be running one as well, if that's all right. Okay. Yeah, what's your plus? Plus seven. Okay, yeah. Uh, you both feel like something like it doesn't seem like straight up evil but you're like this dude's not telling us everything that's going on right now i don't know about you but i think these ones are gonna yeah and they're gonna be even worse cold you mind if i just i just want to get the first taste while it's still warm you know oh yes of course um yeah. uh, feel free um just uh you know we, we have to get uh, back to work so uh, as soon as you're finished you can just uh, be be back on the road makes sense we are you with alex back there oh no no alex uh alex actually uh sold the in plain sight to me a little while ago he decided to retire that, that that's why they're reheated i actually don't know how to make them myself so uh these are the last of uh, of what he's made for me i've kept them preserved but um we're we're running a bit low uh, once the place is back up and running, then we'll uh, we'll hire a new chef, and we'll all be back to to uh, the the wonderful wings you used to know. I hear I don't know how to make wings, and reflexively you see the hand go for the hammer. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I hear you on that one. Um, you said he sold it to you a while ago. Uh, a few weeks ago we made the deal, but he stuck around for a little while to uh, do the, make the transition. Mm, I don't know if you know this about chicken. Um, but it doesn't actually preserve for that long. Well, no, he he stuck or, he's been around for a little while after we sold so that he could help me transition it. He made these just a few days ago, but uh, I've also been, I, I use a little bit of magic. I've preserved them. I, I want to insight this, this whole thing, because as soon as the chicken was reheated, 
I'm just on full, why are you here? What are you doing? Okay. Monster? So you want another insight check on, on what in particular? I want to know, is he lying about the, the tavern being sold to me? And what was your plus again? Seven. Seven? Uh, you are fairly confident that he is lying. Yeah, with his hair. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> that's a liar's case. So uh, I kind of want to jump in with some intimidation here since you figured out that he's lying. Um, I have plus three intimidation. Mm. And I want to be like, hey, you need to tell us what happened to Alex right now. Plus three to intimidation. Roll for intimidation. You got your d20? And I'm going to put my hand on your back. I'm like, whoa, whoa, son. Let's, let's pull it down a little bit. He doesn't understand what you're... And I just cast uh, guidance. <laughs> uh, guidance? Oh crap! No, it's bless. They don't give me guidance in this one. Oh, sweet trash! <laughs> All right, I don't give you anything, but I do put my hand on my. Ooh. Think I should reel it in? No, no, no! no. Uh, I'm, plus I'm plus you, you. F- I'm saying that, but what you feel from my hand is me pushing you towards it. Like, yeah, get him! Oh, perfect. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> First roll of the campaign is a nat 20. Got him. Okay, um, you see it. the blood just immediately drains from his face. You he he mutters something very quickly under his breath. You don't know what it was, but he vanishes. Do we hear? Like the sounds of construction happening. Like, are there people here construction? So, what? What do you mean, vanish? Like, he just popped into. He said, "Who's the manager?" Mm-hmm. No, probably yeah. not going out the back door. No, no, no. Like, mutter something and just gone. Um, you do not hear any construction noise or anything like that. In fact, uh, tears with a fifteen perception. You don't notice any construction anything nothing looks like it's being built or changed nothing okay yeah interesting um do we hear after he like vanishes do we hear any kind of like footsteps or anything around nope okay Mm. we need to do two things eat eat chicken and figure out where somebody who knows how to make chicken is I mean, I would say with our travels, we've gotten pretty good at this. Oh, yeah. I think between the two of us, we could probably whip up something pretty good. I know, for, you guys to I know for a fact, you're a trap girl. If you want to f- see if there's any traps on that yeah, door, sure. I'll whip up some chicken. Okay. Uh, who's going to scope upstairs so we know nobody's uh, sneaking around up there? I'm happy to go see if I can find Alex Jade Scales. Who we do know knows how to make wings. Right. Uh, allegedly, yes. Yeah, yeah. Right, so you're you're checking for Alex. I can check upstairs. Yeah, I'm happy to go upstairs and see what's going on. Okay, hey, perfect. We'll we'll both go upstairs. We'll go together. We gotta stay together. I'll stay down here with you, but look for traps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's start with the two who are uh two are checking for traps downstairs. So you're just investigating. Investigating the main floor, huh? As I'm investigating, I'm getting all the necessary pieces for chicken and ale. Mm. <laughs> Just um, like in between the fridge and the stove. One. Other than the reheated wings that he has brought out to you, you don't find any other wings, chicken, nothing. There's plenty of bottles of hot sauce, but that's it. Okay. So you can take some hot sauce bottles if you want. If I'm taking 10 minutes, I'm going to be casting Detect Magic while I do this. Okay. Uh, roll, roll an investigation check for me, both of you. Oh, oh. A 20. Wow. Oh! Wow! Oh! Two 20s in a row! Wow. Okay. With the same die. It is the same, this one. Is- wow, that is, that is this chosen <laughs> one. It's not waited, I swear. <laughs> okay, so, first things first, we will, uh, remove the upper floor. Since that's what you guys are going to be exploring in a second, that means we don't need to worry about my four, right? Yeah, I think we're good. No, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> okay, so um, you find a few things uh, carved into the bar top are two phrases. The first one says, "The tree hides the way." The second one says, "Evil makes merry while good sleeps." I'm assuming I'm getting none of this with my four, so I'm just making chicken and casting a spell at this point. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, and that is a good thing to keep in mind, um, is that if someone else learns something, you don't necessarily know until they communicate it. Mm, perfect. So, um, 
I might need another piece. Um, I have seven. Jack, with your uh, four, what's four. your what's your plus? Uh, minus four. Oh, okay, so oh, it's okay. a four. Um, you actually stumble outside of the tavern as you're trying to investigate. Um, but there are some there are some crates piled up over here. Okay. Um, that are very easy to see. So yeah. you know they're just there. Um, and looking inside, you do find that they've got some chilies of various types. Good, um, good. Herbs that's, and spices. Which, actually, guys. Shut up. Oh, yes! Actual chilies. Right. Listen, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. It looks like a floor. Very but this is what we're here for. Yeah. Um, yeah, being being a wingman, yeah. you, you know where to look for those. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> <laughs> um but, Tirza, you also see on the wall behind the tavern there a notice board. Um, so there is a notice for a lost pet, which reads as follows. Missing cat, large with black fur and tentacles. Okay. Answers to Pouncy, loves milk. Please contact Alex Jade Scales if found. It's actually up there. Yes, they're uh, literally they're all of the the stickers are all there. You want to show that to the camera real quick? That's so sick. The stickers have got all of these things actually on there. The stickers. I don't know if you hold on. Can you see in there? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Kind of hard to hard to see. Yeah. Um. Above this notice is a scrap of paper bearing a sketch of a red dragon's face, accompanied by the words "Symbol of the Cult of the Dragon." Man, you are getting so many clues. She did roll. She got in that 20. <laughs> <laughs> you were in charge. Uh, next to the missing cat notice is an Adventurers of the Month plaque bearing a rough sketch of some adventurers with the following caption. The hard way plundered the lair of the dragon cinder howl and returned alive. The, the hard way. That's my nickname back in high school. <laughs> Freaking that's interesting. They, they call me the Cinder Howl. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Do I notice anything with this like back door? Um, the back door. It's just an empty back room. It looks like it's rarely used, especially recently. Um, you do find several jars of hot sauce. Um, the now empty. Uh, preserved wings, uh, barrel, the now empty barrel of the preserved wings, um, and a rack of some ordinary looking weapons. Um, there's a battle axe, a loot, a pike, and a rapier, which you can also see. They're in the main room, but yeah. There are there are a couple minor discrepancies between the story and the set, you know, as, as they're trying to make space, but um, yeah, and that is everything that you guys find. Yeah. Found you found where the wings were from? Uh, well, that barrel. Were they salted slash refrigerated slash? They they appear to have been magically preserved, they like were refrigeration. Well preserved from what I can tell. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does like with a nat twenty and being a wing expert, they as well as you can preserve wings, they were. They're not going to be dangerous. Well, you're the actual wing expert, and I'm the one going in like, bye, bye, bye. No, they should be fine, um, as far as I can gather. They, um, they were preserved as if they were cut two days ago. Oh, perfect. And I'm just like chopping it pieces of things that I found. <laughs> <laughs> some pepper, some wood. It doesn't matter. All right. Meanwhile, our adventurers on the second floor. Um, and yeah. uh, two, two, two. So, uh, what is this? Jeremy and Renan make their way up to the second floor. They find a small bedroom. This room contains a bed and a closed chest. Mounted above the chest are three small pictures depicting a harp nestled between the horns of a crescent moon, a heroic portrait, and a mountain scene with a small plaque under it. Above the bed hangs a family portrait, which is actually on that wall, which you can see. Um, two dragonborn parents with an unhatched egg. <laughs> so uh, what would you like to do? Uh, I would like to investigate this room to see if there's any recent signs of life at all. 
Okay. Um, roll an investigation check for me. Okay. Well, oh, actually, I'll do that for you. No, you can do that. I was like, I have a plus seven. You can know. Let me, let me feel good about Always it. This way. <laughs> Ooh, a total of 17. 17, nice. okay. <laughs> um, you... <laughs> Weak. Put him a four. <laughs> um, with a 17... Uh, you do notice that there is a closet next door with a da, 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 bag of holding Ooh. that you're able to pick up. Um, can, it doesn't hold anything in it. Great, just some travel gear, bedroll, rations, etc. Um, you do notice the pictures on the wall. Um, as you approach them, um, the Dragonborn family... Um, uh, looks like it is two dragonborns, one with light green scales, the other with golden scales. Um, uh, and the mountain scene has a tiny plaque below it, which reads the spine of the world. Okay. However, as you approach, oh. the chest is a mimic. No! Oh, no! no! As is the bed. No, oh! No. What? <laughs> Frick. Wait, those are really cool. That's the so awesome. Oh, you guys are screwed. So yeah, we're so screwed. <laughs> I'm a level five wizard in an enclosed space. Uh, <laughs> fireball. <laughs> fireball, fireball. Oh, that's that's right. so cool. Whiskey. Whiskey it is. Whiskey. <laughs> that is sick. Okay, so uh, the mimics have not attacked you yet. Are they just like they activated? They yeah, they they opened up and they're they're looking they're looking fierce. So they have not attacked yet. Creepy. Can we just run away? <laughs> uh, you can. Yeah, you you especially can. You haven't gotten close enough for them to be able to reach you. So oh oh perfect, I haven't. Well, I don't want to leave my he, friends he either. The I pictures. don't want to leave Jeremy either. Um, mm -hmm. Jeremy, you let me know what you're gonna, what you're thinking, and I'll stand by your side. I so I have mage hand, <laughs> and I want to figure out what's going on in here more because, uh, is so we have we have the three portraits. We have the harp in the moon thing. We have the the heroic portrait in the middle, mm -hmm. and we have the mountain scene that's the spine of the world, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> um, and we also have the portrait of the dragonborn, the green and the gold with a with an egg, mm -hmm. right? Um, uh, let me see here. What I'd like to do, is there a way I can try and communicate with the mimics to be like, hey, uh, not trying to necessarily take anything or cause any problems, just curious as to what's going on here. Oh, I'll, I'll jump in real quick. I can communicate with small beasts. Um, I don't. I don't think mimics count as beasts. Perfect. Yeah. But True. fortunately, they do speak common. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, Amazing. So, so I'm gonna speak Elvis Draconic, Dwarvis, and Orc if I need to. I have elephant voice. Uh, go ahead and roll for persuasion. Ooh, I have two persuasion, a plus one. Uh, heart of the cards. Hey, that's a total of three. I will say that too. <laughs> um, the mimics uh, eat you, growl, <laughs> growl at you, um, and they just say fresh meat. Okay, then I'm gonna spend one of my second level skull slots and cast invisibility on myself. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm completely invisible. Oh. What if the dude downstairs is just invisible and he's still here? Terrible. <laughs> she rolled a twenty. <laughs> I feel like we yeah. didn't know. She would have heard footsteps. Um, casting casting invisibility on yourself. Yes. Okay. And since and... he's invisible, I'm just gonna run away since I wasn't close enough. Okay. So I'm gonna run away. Uh, and and what do you do with that invisibility? Um, so what I'd like to do is try and just, if I can, move around different parts of the room to see if there's anything. Uh, how do I phrase this? What's significant about the portraits, the way that they're set up? Is, this like, like, is it like a secret thing that can be revealed if I mess with them at all? Uh, well, first roll for stealth okay. as you're trying to tiptoe around these mimics. I am invisible, so I get advantage. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do it. Yes. Plus, I'm not reading chat. Oh, there's chats. Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I have not noticed the chats. How are y'all doing? Stuff roll. Hey, good news. That's a nat 20. Oh. 
I rolled okay. a 19 and a 20. How do we have to go in that wow. in the first 30 minutes? <laughs> oh, we can just talk to him. Oh, okay. Yeah, type yeah. it out. Okay, okay. They got okay. questions. Out. Out. Jesus is going to respond so chat. Hi, sorry. My forehead is like so in the way. <laughs> uh, but I can see the chats. Hello, Emma. Uh, Emma, this is D&D with the brand new Lego set. Hi, Justin. We've been on for about 30 minutes. Hi, Albert. Okay, I was typing okay. that out, so I'll delete. Oh, you're typing. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, okay, so with Nat 20, you are quite easily able to move around this room. Um, you don't have anything anyway. really unusual about the uh, three pictures that are on the wall. They just look like they're just kind of there. Um, the portrait on the wall, though, looks like it's uh it's it's been moved around a little bit of the dragon board yeah yeah mm -hmm. can i go over there and mess with it a little bit just to see what it, if it's yeah like behind what, it if it's like a switch or you want to what do you want you want it to like take it off the wall uh, uh if i need to yeah yeah it's, it's the classic like i'll fiddle a little and then i'll fiddle as much as i need to yeah do what it needs to do touching it you do notice that it is definitely fiddly okay cool um it's very loose and it comes right off the wall Ooh. to reveal a crack in the wall right behind it um how large of a crack uh not large enough for any character to fit through but large enough that you can see that there's some kind of a space behind there that looks like there's a dungeon staircase some some dark dark stony pathway behind it yep behind the okay but behind the crack in the wall but not large enough to fit. Oh, God. So hard, like typing from that angle. So, yeah. <laughs> it's in the classic. I, I <laughs> love the fact that they like action so much. Sorry, that's so cool. <laughs> Oh, okay. He found a crack in the wall where he can see through to the dungeon. Wait, or a, a, a supposed, a, a perhaps a dungeon. Oh, I'm still at. <laughs> I rolled in that 20 months still. Nice. Yeah, three. Yeah. Three and three minutes. Yeah, everybody's rolled that Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, we totally all have. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Jack, you're falling behind. <laughs> no, he's making wings. He's not falling behind. Oh, yeah, yeah. He has his job. My four got me exactly. He has his job. <laughs> um, okay, uh, yeah, and with uh, with your nat 20 of stealth, and like the mimics have not noticed you at all. Let me generally make my way back out of the room, back downstairs, with the bag of holding that I found. That's okay. Cool. You make your way back downstairs with your bag of holding. Is the bag of holding? It is, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh. you can take it. Yeah, do you, you want to grab it? Yes, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Or if they stupid the getting fingers, I want to mess up the cool. Got it. What's their chair? Bag of holding. Well, I want my spices. Okay. Um, <laughs> physical representation of our inventory at all times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <it's great. laughs> it's one and spices. <laughs> so just coming back downstairs, like, okay, so good news. Um, first, there's two mimics up there. Okay. Uh, Redon saw that. So yes. that's good news. I, that's that's, cool that's why I got out of there. He cast invisibility, so I knew he was safe. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. But we've done this before. Dude, it's okay. I was far away enough. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess a bed can be a mimic. I learned that today. Uh, wow. No, I didn't. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, but that's metaphorically, because I could it, see. No? Two mimics. One's a chest. You know, it makes sense, yeah, right? Typical. Bed, also a mimic. Wow. You think he was sleeping on top of a mimic? Yeah. Right, actually, Alex, I mean, I, I'm just going to like, uh, you know, there's an allegory. <laughs> yeah, there's a Sunday school there's lesson. Sunday. <laughs> uh, so anyways, um, two things, found a bag of holding, nothing super important in there, except that it's a bag of holding, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then uh, also there appeared behind this thing, there's, I think, against the back wall here, there's like a sum going on back there. Like some kind Are of you function. invisible saying all this? or 100% I'm still invisible. I just hold yeah. out a, a bunch of peppers and go. Dude, we could feed him some. I was gonna like slowly just grab them, sort of put him in the bag a whole thing. There's a lot of hot sauce bottles. Do you think? Oh, get some of that sauce. Yeah. Do you think yeah. the mimics would be injured if we gave? It depends on the what's the Scoville level. Fire damage. Oh, the Scoville level. Yeah. Okay. Is it a v? Is it a V? Is it like Scoville? Sco uh -huh. yeah. That's super embarrassing. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, if it's like it's like ghost pepper hot sauce, yeah, so yeah. Like it, it might make the they're ninety percent top. Yeah, that's true. I, I mean, all, that out loud. <laughs> this is what they look like. Yeah. Ooh, also, cool. Jeremy did just tell us everything that he found, and I don't know if there's much else up there. So, do we need to worry about the mimics? Yes. Like, mimics have stuff in them. Has it been ten minutes at this point? Uh, since when? 
since I started cooking and casting my spell. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> my detect magic is up, and I see a glow around anything that has any kind of magic. Oh, and you're on you're on the main floor, yeah. On the main floor, and yeah. Um, <laughs> you do see a glow of magic around the cask that was preserving the meat. Um, Grab. But it, it, it's it's. It's a barrel. It's a crate, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's okay. Oh, it's like a normal, like... Yeah, yeah it's okay. like, oh, yeah, this is the magic that this guy was using gotcha. to preserve the meat. Gotcha. Um, and that is all that you notice magic on the main floor. All right, I will go up. I'm just going to see if there's anything good in the mimics. Do you got some hot sauce? Do you want to take hot sauce? I assume... At this point, I assume that you you have said hot sauce. Your biggest thing whenever we eat chicken is just watching people's reactions. I know that there's no way for us to make it out of here without you getting a Mimic's reaction. This is just my excuse to bring us up there. Okay. I will say, again, just disembodied and in, in invisible voice. They did, They do speak common, and they said fresh meat and growled at me. So I don't know. Oh. Should, we, should we bring the wings? Let's, like, a, like two. Let's try the wings first. Okay. We're gonna try the two wing. wings. One wing per mimic. That doesn't sound like enough. Yeah, we're starting with the wings. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. All right. And then depending on how good they are, we yeah. give them to them. Okay. Fair. Fair. That's fair. You guys need your food. So you get wings. Yeah. Take a wing. Um, a for sure. They are <laughs> so delicious. You are shocked at reheated wings being this good, and you're like, if these reheated wings are this good. What oh, they? imagine if they were fresh. Oh, man. Ooh. Yeah, you're real. These, okay. these these are real, real good. This is kind of game changing. I don't know what has happened to Alex, but we need to we save need him. We need to figure that <laughs> immediately. <laughs> immediately. Right. This is the number one goal. This just became our quest. You're, well, yeah, I agree. 100%. Just became our quest. <laughs> I mean, we, we already found yeah, that Alex yeah, that's just trouble. Became. So <laughs> oh. now it's more important yeah. to us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now it's like because our quest was finding the ultimate wing, and and I doth believe <laughs> the, ultimate, the ultimate wing has been found. I don't believe onto something, but we have to. It's it's a scientific process has to be verified. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. Wizard boy knows this. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, you went to school. <laughs> um, try to graduate. Let's bring up their wings. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, great. Happy. Perfect. <laughs> so I've gotten the I'm wings. Focused on the She's got focused on Alex. just as much hot sauce as you can grab. Bottles and bottles. Okay. 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 We're gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna be looking out for any glowing magical properties with my detect magic. Okay, as you go upstairs uh with your detect magic, um you vi- immediately notice the bed in the chest. Um I think they're magic. <laughs> but, uh, are they back to faking? Astute, they're back to faking. And yeah. astute observation. <laughs> um, a normal looking bed and chest are glowing brightly. Nice. nice. Um, and uh, that is all you notice up there. Okay. Well. Should we just chuck it? See what happens? Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Do you think lately? They can't jump. Okay. I'll just... Yeah, yeah. I, think we just I think we just launch. The, the bed first or the chest? Uh, let's do the bed first. Okay. Bed bigger. Okay. I'll toss the wing towards the bed. Okay. Uh, yeah, it opens up its maw and just, like, chomps down on that thing. More. All right, now, together. Okay. So I throw the, the chicken. And I throw a California Reaper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's giant blue tongue just laps it all up and like mm. the fantasy cousin to the Carolina Reaper. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Oh, is it Carolina? <laughs> <laughs> it's hotter and more mad. Skullbill levels with the uh, oh, California yeah. Reaper. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Oh, it's fantastic. Don't think about wings. <laughs> <laughs> mm, thank you. Anytime. Uh what happened to the person who used to sit on you? <laughs> yeah. No one sits on me. No one lays on you? I'll eat them. How long you been here? Uh, a couple of weeks. Only a few weeks. How you like in your room? Uh, it's okay. Uh, sometimes the wizard sends people up to me and I get to eat them. No, I don't. He's a wizard. Was 
Mary is, is was this, Mary a wizard? Yeah, is this wizard called Mary by chance? You know oh wizard? yes, he said that we could stay up here. Oh, that was kind of him. How heavy does this bed look? Bed weight? <laughs> <laughs> not like an IKEA frame where you could lug it around. Probably it's, not. It's a solid one. Yeah. What about the chest? How how heavy does the chest? Look? Uh, heavy oak chest. Okay. I was hoping we could just like carry it and just like throw it at yeah. things. That's a big bed. Throw it at things. <laughs> yeah, just like oh no, it's a goblin. <laughs> 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 right there, we have to do the music. <laughs> yeah. Um, how, how often do you get fed? Uh, he feeds us some wings, but uh, we were hoping that the group of adventurers he hired would come back and we'd get them, but uh, nope. With this group of adventurers, did you know by chance if they were called um, the hard way? That was it, yeah. How did you know that? I don't know, just I just know things, except I, I don't know things about wings, <laughs> but I know other things. <laughs> He hired them to find a dragon egg. A dragon There's egg. a dragon egg? I don't know. That's what they were sent to find. The one in the picture? What? Wait, is the picture still up? Did you put the picture oh, back? The picture back, yeah. Oh, did you tell us about the hole in the wall? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he told us about it. I share secrets. Okay, perfect. No, that's a dragonborn egg. Oh, totally different. You're right. Yeah, that's said. racially insensitive. Yeah, yeah, I apologize. Uh... Check out what's in the hole. Um, is the hole near the bed? I would have told you guys that you can't fit into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a... I still want to take it down. Go for it. And I'm gonna take one more bite it of really, this chicken. Near the bed, can you? Move? Yeah, the bed's fine though. Now that it's been fed. Is it okay if I? What about the chest? We, we're chill. We should feed the chest first. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, I just kind of like, and eh, there you go. Oh, sorry, you haven't taken it off yet. Uh, yeah, we'll take it off. Okay, now you want to take, no, it. take it. Okay, sorry, you had to feed the mimic first. <laughs> That's right. See, she did. And I look at the chicken and I look at the hot sauce. I'm like, which one do we want to keep more? Which one's more important to us? The wing. Okay. You can throw the sauce. There's so much sauce on it. So I touch one of the bottles of hot sauce and cast light on it. Okay. So it's it's glowing. Okay, nice. <laughs> right? 20 feet radius, dim 20 feet. So it's 40 right. feet of light. Okay. Like, Molotov cocktail, that bad boy. You yeah. throw it through the crack? It's through the crack, yeah. I just want to see what's in there. Uh, it bounces down a spiral staircase that you can just barely take a peek through, and then it disappears around the corner as it bounces down. Also, a very sturdy bottle. I did not expect that. I know. I really thought it would break, you know, with those videos. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, where they go boom, 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 yeah, down the yeah, stairs. And it shatters and it goes around. We'll try it at the as it, as it disappears around the corner, you do eventually hear a shatter. <laughs> okay. All right. That's pretty good. That was a pretty good roll. Yeah. Does that mean the light? Did we light the sauce or the bottle? Yeah. Okay. You lit the bottle. Okay. So the. So now there's little light shards everywhere. Ooh. For as long as it lasts. How long does it last? Uh, 10 minutes. Yeah. In the next 10 minutes. I made that up. Oh, that's that's spicy, slippery I mean... <laughs> bottle. One hour. Oh, for the next hour, you got light. Well, bottles. we know where the glass shards are on the stairs. Great. Well, we put glass from That's fine. We've got shoes. We're fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What next? Uh, I pet the mimic and I say, oh, let's go check out the stairs. Okay. Yeah, great. Great. Cool. Great. We, we, can't, we can't fit through the hole. Though. Yeah. All right. We'll so you need small. to like rip the wall apart. Did Let's... he come through a back door? Alex? Uh, he did. Mm -hmm. Not Alex. Mary. But, Mary. We, but we looked, I looked in the bathroom and, it's, and there was nothing? It's just empty. It's just hot sauce and ordinary weapons and the crate where the wings were. Uh, there is, there is, is there? Is there the door? Or is that just, I think that's just the you, door to the back room. Yeah. I'm trying to. Was that this? Because you. We did, there is this door and I'm trying to remember if that's the door to the back room or what. But earlier you said that that's a. It looked like a door that hadn't been used in a long time. Did I say that? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> then I'm going to use my, my dwarven uh, stone like, knowledge to be like, oh, based on the architecture, this is probably how we get to the stairs. Yeah, you, you could tear the wall down. Like, do you think that's a possibility? It's a stone wall. I'll let you decide. If you I mean, we should try. <laughs> you give it a, I you know, just a college really try, really right? All right, go, go in athletics. Hold on, do I have something that can actually help with this? Hold on. Let's take athletics. Um, do we go downstairs and tell them this? Or are we just going for it? I figure if we fail here, we can go down and pretend like it never happened. 
Okay, good point. Mm -hmm. You're just trying to knock. You're trying to knock the. You make it make a bigger make hole. A little bigger. Yeah, yeah. Here. Okay. Hey. Oh no! You know what? There is the the yeah. That is a different door. By okay. the way, the the one that you see here is not the door to the back room. That's a different door. That yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, so just an attack roll. Um. No. Roll. Roll a. Roll a strength check. Okay. Strength or athletics. I'll let you decide. Uh, Twenty-one. I got um fifteen. Wait, is this a five or a twelve? It's That's a twelve. Uh, with a twenty-one, you do dislodge a, a small chunk of rock, but not enough to make a difference to fit through. Okay. Uh, like, like this much rock. That's all my strong that I've got. That's anything I have. Fifteen. You you get a, a little like a little like dust plume come off of it. And... Yeah, I kicked it real hard to work. <laughs> we won't mention this to anybody, but we'll tell them that we found stairs. Okay. And tamed mimics. They like balloons. Yep. And the hot sauce spray. Really into it. Yeah, no fire. <laughs> no fire damage. A little disappointing. <laughs> All right, back down, back down to the main floor we go. Hello. So, so bed mimic, am I right? It's still invisible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have an hour of this. I'm not going to drop it until I need to. Um, yeah, so we fed them the wings. They like the wings a lot. They also told us that these people on the wall, the Adventures of the Month, the hard way, mm -hmm. apparently the wizard, Mary, wizard, now not our the wizard, um, he, funny. I guess, so hired them, but he was going to feed them to the mimics, but they didn't show up. Well, why did he hire them? Great question. I didn't ask that. Just to feed them to the mimics? Yeah, I think he was going to feed no, them. Oh, wait, there was something about a dragon egg. Yeah, they were looking for a dragon egg. Yeah, it was uh, the probably dragon. from the dragon cinder. Yeah, those are those are different. Right, right. But he hired them to find the dragon egg. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, and then they were gonna come back. And then he was gonna feed them to the bed. They were gonna defeat an entire dungeon and fall to mimics, and then he was gonna get the egg. Well, I guess if you didn't expect a bed to be a mimic and you were to fall asleep, that's true. You could I didn't know that's good mimic, unless you were like alert or something. But they're like cool now because we fed them, so we can like go hang out. Yeah, you mimics really don't have any loyalty to anybody. I mean, yeah. besides food. That, well, we got food, so we got their loyalty while we have weed. <laughs> did you guys poke around down here at all while I was upstairs messing with mimics? I did a little bit. Yeah, I found. Um, well, I looked at this notice board. Um, there is a lost pet. He's a missing cat. It's um, black. He's got black fur and tentacles. And it's called Pouncy. Oh, that was like more than a cat. Yeah, that's definitely not just a cat. Yeah, tentacles. Wait, you found that and the party? Well, it's on the board. This was downstairs. Yeah, yeah. This was downstairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's also there's also a sketch of a red dragon, and they say that it's the symbol of the the cult of the dragon. So it's on the wall there. I found herbs and spices. You did, and they how were many? Really great. Twenty one. Ah, that's a lot more than seven. Yeah. Oh yeah. Seven. <laughs> seven herbs and spices. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm thinking of the twenty. I'm thinking of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> It's 23. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's the same. It's supposed to be 21. 31 is Baskin Hopkins. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of numbers here. None of them are right. Um, yeah, so I found that out. Um, but I think but uh, the adventures that the mimic was talking about, I think are these guys, adventures of the month. The hard way. Good for them. They got like a badge or something. I don't know. Okay, cool for them. Cool for them. Um I found an axe. And I walk over and pick up the axe. <laughs> you, did. you sure do. And the back room is pretty much empty. There's a couple weapons back there, but other than that, it's not a lot going on down here. Oh, but we did find stairs. We found stairs upstairs. Yeah. Stairs, spiral staircase. Spiral staircase. We threw hot sauce on it. We should. Okay. So, so, can, we, can we get through to those? Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, uh, if can, someone really strong can break the wall down, then do, they can, can I go like like my right the dwarven go. architectural? knowledge to be like yeah, based on the the spiral um sure roll something an intelligence or if, if there's something in there that you think would stone cunning gives me advantage on history checks on the origins of stonework i think that means the oh culture. i'll give you that yeah just roll, with, could, roll yeah the origins of the stair sure i also want an investigation roll an investigation check for downstairs real quick yeah yeah go for it uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, it looks like that staircase would go straight down behind that last door that is in there. Oh, there's an entire door we haven't checked. Okay, we yeah. check I think it's behind the door. Before we go on, 
Um, based on everything that you guys have told us, okay, so we know the innkeeper's name was Alex. <laughs> well, Alex Jade Scales. Yeah. Alex Jade Scales. So we don't, we haven't ever met Alex, mm -hmm. right? But there's a portrait of yeah. the family portrait upstairs is of Dragonborn. Let's assume that that's Alex, right? Well, the surname like Jade Scales, I would assume. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. He's got a um, spouse and maybe a baby in here. Right. I'm just trying to like connect dots here mm -hmm. because clearly that is he was the egg. Oh. oh, the mystery thickens. I, I was definitely on this page. Yeah, same. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Maybe I'm just, done, again, invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Still invisible, just to remind me. Um, and so this merry wizard dude, clearly not a great guy because he was planning on feeding this other group of just, heroes. Greasy was in the pan, he cooked the chicken. That's true. That's he didn't cook that chicken. You're right, he did. Said it dignity from a sufferer. <laughs> and so... Clearly not a good guy. Disappeared. The innkeeper's not here. So clearly this Mary also has to do with the disappearance of so everyone. I rolled a 17 on investigation. Do I see the uh, evil make Mary, makes Mary while good sleeps and the tree hides the way? Do I find that on the 17? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty obvious. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I found this thing that says evil makes Mary while good sleeps. I'm assuming that's not like the emotion that's it's the, the loop that's the, the guy with the bed upstairs Look, that's the guy evil mary. makes mary evil makes mary while well, good sleeps well the bed with good sleeps mary is i was gonna say because the bed well i guess it's like neutral it's not really evil but like if a good person sleeps in then the evil thing is gonna be happy because gonna eat him so it's not the loop i don't think so it's okay that's all right I got his it. his name is mary i, I follow <laughs> Yes, his name is. I, I, I see what you were saying. I see what you were saying. Also, I think we have to go to the tree outside. There's a tree outside. <laughs> you guys didn't see the tree when we came. Well, I saw crates. Uh, yeah, those with perception higher than ten did notice a large tree. Yeah, there's. I didn't see that tree. I for sure saw that tree. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, but I want to check one thing before we go check the tree. Do what you need to. I throw a chicken at the door. You throw a chicken out the door? No, a chicken wing. It, <laughs> it splatters against the door. Right. This door? The secret door? Yeah. Not a minute. Nothing. <laughs> okay, so are we coming back to the door? We're going to the tree. Marissa, well, if we're here at the door right now, we can see it. Yeah. Has anyone tried the store yet? No. Well, sure. I did just now with chicken. Okay. Well, we know it's not a mimic then. Yeah. <laughs> Still completely invisible. <laughs> She's my door person. I can try the door. Or do you want to try the door? Or are we trying the tree first? Well, I mean, the door's right here. The door's I mean, I have, the I have high, I have high strength, so I can try the door if we think it's going to be locked. So I can it, try not so much the lock, but the trap is what usually. Mm. That's why I let her go first most of the time. Mm. I mean, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Wizard cleric, y'all have more magic abilities than me, so you can do that thing with you talk to animals. That's that's, um, that's good. That's a good. You you had cast detect magic, and you did not notice anything on the door earlier. Yeah, so it's not going to be a magic so you wanna trap. It? Go for it. it would only be like a mundane trap. Like a regular. So you want to sacrifice me to the trap? I, well, I, I just want to sacrifice you. <laughs> I never said no. I'll, I can go. Do you want me to go? I can do it. Sure. Okay. okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to check the door. Uh, as you approach the door, nothing happens. It's locked. Yeah, it's just regular. It's just locked. Can I try to pick it up? You sure can. Oh, stuff. Yeah, go ahead and, uh, and roll for that. Is that a slide of hand? That is, yeah. Technically, it's a dex, and then you add your plus three because you're proficient at these tools. Twenty. Yeah, this is, is that a nat twenty again? Yes. Oh my gosh! I'm sure it's not weighted. Is that a high variance? No, it just got a three. Oh my gosh! A thirteen. Okay, okay. okay. Can, I, can I see you? Uh, yeah, nice you, uh, that is the easiest lock you have ever obtained. <laughs> I just don't know what it feels like to roll a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> That is 18, 18. That is higher than I have. The easiest lock you have ever picked in your entire life. Wow, it just pops right in this Yep, it falls <laughs> open. It was the one where you just poke it in there. It's like, oh, you hit yeah, the button. Like <laughs> it looks like a door. It's actually a curtain, and I just want to open it up. And as you open it up. Oh, shit. Shoot. Oh, dang. Ow! Oh, no! Frick. There are three skeletons waiting inside. And wait, hang on. And we're done. That's for you. This is why we checked our tree. Yeah, I, I got. Uh, uh, it's, it's okay. I'm here. I'm here. I've got my sword and my shield. Okay. Uh, you've reached the bottom of the tower, as evidenced by the stone staircase that curls upward. 
Candlelight illuminates a pair of doors and some scattered treasure. Standing in the basement are three animated skeletons dressed like adventurers. Oh, tucked no. in a tour. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got so sad. It's it's nice. Immediately sad. Oh, the hard one. <laughs> Tucked in a corner nearby are some brightly colored plants. Floating in the middle of the room is a terrifying spherical monster with sharp teeth, no. one big eye, and ten smaller eyes on wriggling stalks. Oh, Bitch! we're screwed! No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Deep breaths. I was like, oh no, we got these skeletons, uh-oh. <laughs> so we don't have the wriggly guy. Is this the cat? <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering that. I was like, it's got to get some snakes the dump. Pouncy, Pouncy. He goes by Pouncy. And he likes milk, right? He Wait, no. Milk. Was it Pouncy that likes milk? Pouncy likes milk. Um, as you. This is sorry, we're not medicating. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what that was. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you first enter the room. Yeah, like, no, brother. <laughs> uh, those of you familiar with beasts recognize. Actually, what, what are y'all's. Uh, what would that be? Animal handling? No. Uh, nature. Or, nature. Yeah. What are your nature scores? I got plus one. Four. Or minus one. I also, if I go to a. I got plus school, two. I'm assuming yeah. I know what this is. Okay. So you two recognize that it's a beholder. Um, you, that that's what that creature is. It's called a beholder. Okay. Um, but you recognize that it's acting weird. Okay. Uh, because it. When you first enter the room, it bears its teeth, but then retreats back into the corner. Um, is it when it sees Radon specifically? No. Okay. No, just in general. Um, but as Tirza calls it pouncy, suddenly its attitude changes to friendly. I knew it. Its attitude changes to friendly, and it come it just comes right back up to you and and gives you a big old lick. Oh wow, Pouncy! Pouncy! Good, good. good. But when it licks you, you're yeah. like, good thing. that wasn't the right shape of tongue. Is it forced? Did you what get on you, <laughs> you see this giant beholder mouth coming out to lick you, but the tongue that licks you is like not that size, not that shape. It's small. So what you feel is different. Yeah. But sandpaper? Not that small. No, it's still large. <gasps> Wait, sorry. Can I make an observation, or or am I not smart enough for that? Do you, what do you want to do? Uh, you said pouncy. Mm -hmm. We saw the ad for a cat. Mm -hmm. What if the wizard Mary turned a cat or did some sort of illusion spell to make his cat look like a beholder? What? Did you say that out loud? Yes. Hearing that, I like to cast a dispel magic on the beholder. As you do, the beholder turns into. A displacer beast. Oh. oh, okay. All's right in the world. Uh, it's an actual cat. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's uh, cool. is oh my god. Still being very friendly and is uh, is like, oh yeah, it's that's me. I'm slightly more okay with this, but only slightly. Yeah, it's 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 behaving very friendly. I don't know, Every time it hears its name, it gets all grab hungry. some milk. Yeah, I was gonna say, do we know? Yeah. Is there milk in the kitchen? There is. Perfect. Good things these skeletons aren't doing anything. Oh well, they've been they've been a little scared of the beholder, but uh, now that the beholder is not in the room anymore, they are going to attack. Okay, great. Uh, who entered the room first? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I can I can find. Okay, is are they all three like together, or can I find them like one at a time? Uh, they are scattered around the room, so they're not close enough that you could hit all of them at the same time. Okay. Should I attack the closest one? But we need to roll for initiative. Yeah. Man. You found. I don't want you to get that time. It seems unfair. This, I can put it away. I can try it away. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I got my team. Why not? I'm really good die. Okay, there can I? I borrowed my die. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'll use this one. I'm not afraid. Of it. <laughs> Three bummer. Okay. Okay. Score. okay. Thirteen. Seventeen. Oh, four. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta do math. Okay. So, what were your initiatives? Uh, you add your dexterity to it. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, four. So. We got Rod on to four. <laughs> uh, Billy, what'd you get? I got a hot ten. Ooh. Ten for Jeremy. Friggin' <laughs> Uh Tears of what'd you get? Seventeen. 
Seventeen. That was when she took Bob the photo. Yeah. And Jack. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven for Torin. Listen, I put them out in the moon. They're happy. Okay, Glob, you go first. That's the first one I've heard that actually. Slay. Um. Okay. What do I have? Okay. Did I hear show two? Okay. Ooh. Slay. Um. I'm going to. Where Where are we? Uh, you have just entered through this door, so this skeleton is the closest to you. In fact, it it was knocked prone when you threw open the door. I'm going to say. Same. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to. Yeah. Um. Take that dagger and. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, you they go for it. You do that. Fighting. Roll it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, when you're done, take twelve. Cake. Uh, twelve to hit. Yeah. Twelve does not hit. Nineteen. Was he prone? Oh, was seven. Just kidding. Nineteen. Nineteen yeah. does hit. <laughs> <He's> like, <"Ooh." laughs> Nineteen does hit. Uh, um. So roll your damage. Uh, seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, do, 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 and at does this qualify for surprise attack or anything like that, Jack? Do you know? Was it prone? It did fall prone. I'm gonna say with all the time with the displacer beast, it got up though. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm gonna yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everybody has a cool cape. Okay. Yeah. He does have a cool cape. Once I kill him, I'm gonna take his cape. Okay. Well, good because it is now this skeleton's turn. Um and. Let's see what these. It's actually all of the skeleton things. So I'm just gonna do them all at once. Um, huh? Where are all those dice like that? That was a lot of dice. The, I mean, it, there's three of them. Mm-hmm. There's, there's so three. Is this over by the door that this is happening? Yes. Yeah, that's over by the door. Um, and uh, what are tears of what is your uh, armor class? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. This skeleton takes a swing and misses. Uh, the other two. Uh, try approaching. So I, I'm assuming y'all are in the room now since you're talking with Pouncy and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the really other two, oh, the other two also miss. So Sweet. no one, they're, 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 they're a little surprised still at the fact that this beholder just turned into a displacer beast. So uh, yeah, next is Torin. Uh, I'm going to walk just right into the middle of them. Okay. Fellow adventurers, <laughs> what has happened? Abominations. And uh, I'm just going to raise my little holy symbol and uh, use my channel divinity to turn undead. They all have to make a wisdom save. Okay. And what is the... 15. 15. Um, only, oh, only one of them succeeds. Uh, are they CR half or lower? I don't know. Skeletons, I think, might be. Skeletons usually are. Great. Then, yeah. Okay. Uh, the two that failed are destroyed. Oh, okay. Knock them over. <laughs> Which, ones? Which ones was it? There's there's a cape one. And uh, the, the, non, the not cape ones were destroyed. Okay, so cape boys still around. The mm-hmm. cape boys still around, so they got boom. And boom. Once. I'm going to do a little potty break. Intermission. Does that yeah, decide what you want to do next? <laughs> oh, I know what I'm doing. Be there. I have a favorite. Guys, this is like so cool. It's so like articulated. Yeah. Like, every part of it. This place is pretty cool. I'm like, whoa. How yeah. is my spiritual? Okay. Yeah, it's like, it's really cool. Like it's, it's literally cool. every single part of it. Is I like the I like the legs a lot. Yeah. That's pretty cool too. He's like the. I think you could be yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap, tap glass. Mm-hmm. These things are cool too. I uh, when we found the thing where it was like missing cat, I was like, I don't know what that is. Then it was a beholder, and I was like, that's not even remotely a cat. <laughs> it's not even cat adjacent. I'm glad it's this guy. His name's Pouncy, not Jason. <laughs> yeah, so then, as, soon as, as soon as you saw those tentacles, you and I were I know, I knew right away. What is that? A Reese's Sticks. Do you want to try it? It's really good. It's my favorite kind of Reese's. It's like a Reese's and a Kit Kat, a baby. That's a bold claim. That's actually amazing. No, it's fire. It's better than a Nutter Butter. Mm. That's also a bold. Pass it around. Reese's sticks are the best. They're so good. I feel like Nutter Butters are kind of a low bar, personally. Okay, that is better than Nutter Butters. It is is pretty good. It is pretty good. I'm good. I'll pass it around. I'll take a bite. 
Jeremy, what <laughs> are you doing? Wait, real quick. I give a quick soliloquy uh, about life of adventures and how undeath is an abomination to life and all that. Mm. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm looting their bodies. <laughs> Great. Okay. Um, isn't that, I think that's going to take an action. All right. Okay. On your next turn. Okay. Sure. Um, my turn? Yes. I'd like to cast a chill touch on the one that is still up. Mm-hmm. Okay, how does that work? That is an attack roll that I have to do. Great. A plus seven to this. Going, going chill touch. So I got an 18 on my attack roll. Definitely hit. Okay, that's going to be 2d8 necrotic damage. Mm. Ooh, necrotic on a skeleton. Ooh, there's a thing in here. Hold on. Okay. So that's 10 damage. Get more dead. Uh, and if also the target is undead, it has disadvantage on attack rolls. Oh! Until the end of its end of my next turn. It did 10 damage? Yes. Well, it falls down dead. Yeah. Like, get that bad touch! Nice. I'm stealing his cape. What the fuck? take up the skeletons. The two of you are just like, MINE! <laughs> <laughs> I just held up the symbol and they all disintegrated. Yeah, That's fair. Okay. We're talking about life and all that, because. That sword is pretty dope. Yeah. Permission to steal his cape? Um, yeah, so Jack started looting the first two. Yeah. Um, the fighter skeleton wears a plus one breastplate, a non-magical helm, and carries a sword of sharpness. Oh, shoot. The rogue skeleton carries a dagger of venom. Oh. And wears a ring of invisibility. Oh. Jay did not get a chance to use. Ha! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the wizard... Skeleton uh, wears a magical cloak that has the properties of a robe of scintillating colors. Ooh. And I can tell you what those are. I was gonna say. Yeah. I'm just gonna throw the sword at Sword Boy. I'm like, I'm assuming this is something that you can do. <laughs> yeah, yeah this man. Sword of sharpness. Sharpness. This sword is so sharp that it can cut through wood and stone. Oh, it goodness. can be used and to break stone. off elements of buildings and other large objects. Would have been helpful earlier, but that's okay. <laughs> We're in the room already, so we can also come up the stairs and get back there. <laughs> like, What's up, mimics? <laughs> that's, that's true. Oh, now I'm man. Um, wielding. invisible one. I think I'm just gonna the ring of invisibility. I believe that is. I believe the I'll sword of sharpness is a two-handed. I was gonna say um, two-handed. Actually, yep. Good to know. Yep. Okay. Well, I will sheath my other. Weapons. Um, and what else did you guys get? There was a dagger. The, the dagger of venom. Like the cool dagger. Uh, yeah. If a minifigure yeah. is hidden before making an attack with this dagger, the dagger's poison deals extra damage. Oh, uh, that feels like it goes with the ring. Uh, ring of invisibility. Yeah, if you can be hidden mm-hmm. and do extra damage. But don't you want a cool thing? Uh, uh, yeah, the best yeah, okay. On the minifigure's turn, it can don this ring to become invisible or remove the ring to become visible again. So, literally, the one ring. <laughs> um, yeah. Random cool oh. real world Lego side note. And the eye on the. And, and, and it, it does, does look a little sour on me. Adorable. A sword can actually be lodged just like it would in a real. Okay, that's pretty funny. In, in a Show real people shield. People. That's pretty tight. Look at this. You can. The sword can actually be like held on the shield, so I can still hold all my gear. Lego, they know what they're doing. What does this breastplate do for me? Uh, plus one breastplate. Yay! Uh, yes, if you can, if you can wear it, which you can. Stick this. Um, oh, and no. The robe of scintillating colors. Yes. Uh, can command this article of clothing to shed bright light in a dazzling array of colors that enemies can't bear to look at. Which I don't know what that yeah. actually. I don't know if it's supposed so. to go, but it's working. So what happened? That's very flashy, is what it is. Uh, do, do, do. It's giving Joseph. <laughs> this robe has three charges. Uh, when you wear it, you can use an action to expend one charge to cause the garment to display a shifting pattern of dazzling hues until the end of your next turn. During this time, the robe sheds bright light in a thirty-foot radius and dim light for an additional thirty feet. Creatures that can see you have a disadvantage on attack rolls against you. In addition, any creature in the bright light that can see you when the robe's power is activated must succeed on DC 15 wizarding save throw or become stunned until the effect ends. Oh, that's awesome. Not so. Now I'm just in drag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Until you have to fight drag ends. Uh-oh. <laughs> Guys. Dungeons of drag ends. <laughs> oh, and it's an end. Oh, wait, oh, that's actually, oh, oh, oh. wait, write that down, that's good. It's fire. <laughs> <laughs> Dungeons and drag 
Why doesn't his head fit on? Oh, the beard! The beard is making the breastplate not work. Oh. You gotta shave. <laughs> Here's a dagger, my friend. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have defeated the dragons and befriended the displacer beast. Pouncey. Befriended Pouncey. Oh, he yeah, what, what, uh, what we got going next? Can I make a quick... I don't know what kind of check this would be, but I want to see if the stuff that we just got from these skeletons is being worn by the adventurers in the portrait. Oh, you want to go back and oh, check out? Oh, oh the, yeah. The portrait. Just see if we got, <laughs> we got the hard ways, just like stuff now. Um, Seems very. The portrait. I, I want to actually see if it. Is that that's all right. This is ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Yep. That's what you see. Okay, cool. <laughs> hey guys, I think I found the hard way. <gasps> Guess what? Guess who's better than the Adventures of the Month? High five. <laughs> I think that makes us Adventures of the Year. At, at least. Poor hard way. That's so sad. But like, they had, they had cool stuff. I want to keep my pauldrons. At least they didn't get mimic it. That's true. That's true. Um... Didn't you say that when we entered the room, there was some like scattered treasure around and stuff? There is some scattered treasure around, yes. Oh, I did not look at that at all. Um, do, 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 do. Where's, where's the scattered treasure? Uh, do, do, do. So, looting the basement. Um, roll for an investigation. Oh, I don't Everyone? know. I don't know. Whoever wants to loot the basement. Okay, that's fine. I bet you yeah. poke around. Can I like also help? Yeah, sure. plus two. Loot! Oh, man! What is it? Investigation? Yeah. Uh, Ooh. I'm telling you guys, put them in, out in the full moon. Your dice get so happy. I got a 19. <laughs> is that what you did? Yeah. That's uh, not the first time I've heard someone recommending that, actually. Got seven. Okay. Uh, well, with a dirty 20, dirty um, anyone who rolled over a 10 finds some coins laying on the ground. Yay. Uh, there's a total of 100 gold pieces laying around. So, oh, so we divide by four. That's not it. Wait, 25. No, it's, not, it's not by four because I didn't find any. I mean, if they want to share. It's only by three. Uh, it's okay. I don't need the money. I just need the correct fish. So we just pass him the yeah, one. Yeah, we'll, we'll just give him some. You, uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, thank you. Um, you find a... Oh, there's a space. Uh, you see in the corner next to these pink plants a book sticking out of near a little corner in the wall. Um, as well as in those pink plants, a lantern that you can see over there. Um, and high atop the shelves is, are some potions. Uh, you can't Ooh. quite reach. Do you know what can? Mage hand. Oh, you can certainly can. Let's not get these potions. You uh, get a potion of healing Tight. and a potion of a greater healing and a potion of heroism. Ooh. Which I can tell you what it does if you want. Extra temp HP each round. But... Also immune to fear, I think, yeah. Um, or advantage against being frightened. Looks like heroism gives you advantage on strength and athleticism or something like that. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna give the potion of heroism to Radon. Nice. Thanks, man. We democratize loot around here. Sure do. What? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, And do you guys want to get the book or the po or the lantern? I desperately need that book. Yeah. Okay. The book then. So you're you're yeah, going to get the it? book? Yes. Okay. And the lantern you with, said with Mei Chan still. Oh, with Mei Chan still. Yeah. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Um. A manual of quickness of action Ooh. is what you find. And tucked inside the book is a spell scroll of protection from energy. Ooh. And there's a lantern, too. There is a lantern, too. Yeah, so take you taking the lantern? Yeah. Uh, as you approach the lantern, these pink plants are poisonous. And you take 2d6 damage. Oh, just regular times. Yeah, that's right. I know. Just feel like I never touched them. Okay, eight. Um, but the lantern is a lantern of revealing. So you shows invisible things. You grab my lantern. Um, just, 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 small man. Yeah, it is. It is. Yep. It's it's so black. Reveals invisible creatures and objects. I got small finger, but I also don't want to destroy this. Whole set. I 
got it. <laughs> I was just like, little... I got it. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hmm, where's your head to piece? <laughs> He's still writing down to you. So full. <laughs> Guys, get my things. Yeah. Well, that I've just figured it's out how to put a helmet on, and I look over, and yeah. she's got the one ring a lantern <laughs> writing the fighting a displacement. <laughs> not a chili pepper. Uh, okay. Does anything else glow with my detect magic? Uh, but you do see the shards of uh, glass from the bottle that you threw down. Aha! Those are still glowing. Um... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Nope, nothing else is going. Okay. Before we uh, delve too deep, as my people like to say, mm -hmm. uh, did somebody say something about a tree? Yeah, I was going to say, before yeah, we go upstairs, maybe we should go to the tree. Okay. Okay, hear me out. We can absolutely do that for sure. Or we can come upstairs and I can throw an acid splash to that little, little, little hold at the mimics and just watch them ride because they can't get us. But, but, like, just, we throw but like, they gave us a lot of information <laughs> Like, do we just kill him just to kill him? Listen, we don't have to. I'm just saying we have a completely and total, totally doable way to ace the mimics. I'm right just going to take you under my arm and... Uh, Get on the torrent. <laughs> Listen, I know I've told you about uh, the sanctity of life, the importance of life. Mm -hmm. It's everything that I worship. <laughs> <laughs> you're wearing a dead person's <laughs> helmet and breastplate. Undead, undead. They're an affront to my... They were all ready. They're abomination. Okay, fine. I'm just, I'm just I released listen. their souls to the natural order. Okay. I'm just saying. As we... Maybe we have stuff in them. It's just an option. You don't have to. Yeah. Fine. The, yeah, the tree leads the way or whatever. All right, so we're going to the tree? Okay. Okay. You exit, I'm assuming, back through the door through Did which you, you came. Enough? Okay. I don't see it. This is very important to me. You want me to flip this? Uh, as package. you're exiting through that door, you can get yeah, milk get for bouncing. For bouncing. If you want, I can put a bunch of bag of holding. Okay. Still get it mixed up with the hot sauce. <laughs> the hot sauce. <laughs> Spicy milk. Yeah. Have we done any hot milk before? Okay. There you go. Okay. Uh, I'll take those skellies. Bye, skellies. Uh, Skelly bones. We walk back and we go out of the tavern. And we walked we over. Get some milk. We get some milk. For I leave the door open though. Okay. Both doors. The door to the cellar and yeah. the door to the. Okay. That way, anything in there has a chance to get out. Yeah. Uh, as you uh, exit the door, you now see what wasn't there before, an owl bear. Wait, he's so cute. <laughs> hey, bestie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just found my mount. <laughs> <laughs> Spiky ivy grows up the side of the crumbled tower, which is surrounded by a lush meadow. Next to the tower is an enormous tree with rustling leaves. Mushrooms grow in the shade under a stone bridge, which bears a carving of a dragon's face. Peering, uh, prowling the meadow is an owlbear that walks on all fours. It's clear that the owlbear is hunting three big spiders that crawl through the tall grass. Get them, Spiky ivy! That's his name. I was like, is that the bear's name? Oh, bear's name. So, what, uh, what would Yon Adventurers like to do? Um, I want to catch a spider. I was going to say, if we if we kill the sp spiders, maybe, kill. maybe... Why are we killing a spider? Because I hate spiders. What? They are like the same size. I put your him on, I put under my arm and start explaining why life is important and how it's everything. How big are these spiders? Uh, giants. Uh, let's let's sorry. see exactly how large. Bigger than a human? We need to kill the spiders. No! Um, oh, they are the large beasts. Perfect. Um, I can't speak with them. Dang it. So I, I don't know what large <laughs> means, but they're, yeah, they're as big as you guys. We're, we're actually medium. Oh, they're bigger than you guys. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the spiders are bigger than, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Okay. He's talking. I'm catching one. You want, you want the owl bear, yes. right? And he clearly wants the spiders. Yes. So if we feed the spiders, feed the spiders to him. So maybe we don't kill the spiders, but we like allow him. Yes. Yes. The natural order. He doesn't want dead spiders. Right. Okay. You're right. She doesn't, well, wait, why she doesn't want to get fed? Why would it mess to hunt? Okay. It's a she. All right. That was quoting Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> but also, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Your name's Ivy. I still don't see anything wrong with killing the spiders first. 
Have you ever owned a lizard? <laughs> Do you like fresh food or food that's been reheated? This whole thing could start with you. To be so. fair, the reheated wings were. That's true. You are very passionate about your your food. They are pretty good. Very specific. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you want the owl bear, so you do what you think would be best for the owl bear. Spiders together, roughly. They're scattered around. The owl bear is going after him, but as soon as it gets close to one, it runs away, and he's trying to arch you know, Is there something we can do to slow him? Every once in a while, he gets a swipe at one of them, but oh, I'm just slow. running up and grabbing one around the leg and wrestling it. Oh, okay. Uh, so you want to do a strength check or yeah. a grapple check or something? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Okay, you want to do it? Now. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> what, what'd you roll? Five. A dirty five. A dirty five. Yeah. You succeed. <laughs> <laughs> Just Giant spider rolled a two. Through sheer willpower yeah. and excitement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay, you, this thing and you, do, yep. you do grab one, yep, Pull and it. it is, it's fighting against you trying to get back, yep. Um, the other spiders don't seem to really care, they're still preoccupied with the owlbear. Oh, the yeah. owlbear, uh, actually the owlbear, seeing that you have caught one, is now eyeing you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. other other things happening? I'll, I'll also go for one of the spiders. In what way? Um, same thing, I'm gonna tackle I'm gonna it. Tackle it? Okay. Because... Following the cleric's advice, we're going to respect their life, whatever, even though they're going to be dying by the owlbear anyways. Okay. What's your, what's your strength? 15 plus Ooh, 7. You also get it. Yes. We both succeeded. That's, Perfect. That's what matters. Um, <laughs> actually, though, I am going to have you <laughs> also roll a dexterity check to see if you can actually catch up to it in order to. Okay, fair. 12 plus 1, 13. I should have wrestled. You got it. Perfect. Okay, so you you got this spider now. The owlbear is looking very confused. Just looking back and forth between you guys. Are, are you guys going to do the same spider or different? Different, different spiders, because there were three spiders now. Yeah, who are you guys? You could I mean, use we'll the... Surely not the wrestling spider. <laughs> well, you don't, you don't have to use the um, pouncy. Mm. Pouncy's a pouncer. Can I? This is not the music. <laughs> I, like it. I like this video. Yes. The smooth elevation. Oh, okay. um, what, what just happened? Am I able to? I don't have communicate with animals or anything to that nature, but you know, like how I don't, I can't really talk to like dogs, but like you know, you can kind of like sense the vibes. Mm -hmm. Can I like sense Pouncey's vibes? Like, is he wanting to play? Uh, Pouncey, a cat. Yeah, play. but I'm just curious if he's like, ooh, playtime. Mm. Um, yeah, Pouncey's Pouncey's eye the spiders. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna climb off Pouncey and let him go. Okay. Go, buddy, go. Enjoy your spider. Oh, the litter. <laughs> Whoa! Why is there still rolling? <laughs> this is very lowly bantering. Uh, let's let's pull up that uh, space for beast mm -hmm. stat block. Oh yeah, Bouncy immediately yeah. jumps on a spider and eviscerates it. Just yeah. thrashes it yeah. completely. Yeah. Um, seeing the dead spider, the owl bear runs up and uh, takes takes a, a swipe at uh, a competing predator. <gasps> No. Uh, I don't know if you don't roll the bounty. No, I got it. Uh my <laughs> misses. Misses, but um there's one of the bridges over here. We're we're Pouncy let's let's not you know let's see what Pouncy does. Pouncy is gonna retreat and be like, oh nope. Mm, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with this. Oh, I didn't know it was like that though. My bad. My bad. Okay. My bad. Um, and the owlbear starts eating the spider. Damn. Well, this is going on. I would have liked to have made my way like kind of around the whole thing over to see if I can get to the tree. To the items. With okay. The owlbear being uh, uh, preoccupied. Yep. With spiders. Yep. Uh, owlbear is is preoccupied with the spider. Um, doo -doo -doo. Once I get there, if I could investigate sentry. Let me just make sure real quick. Um, okay, so you're making your way over to the tree? Yes. 
Like, you know how, like, you know, when you see someone, people like talking, it's going to skirt the outside. Sure, sure, sure. So you're skirting around the outside, so that's going to take a, a minute. Right. Uh, what are my two boys wrestling the spiders doing? Because these spiders are about to uh, roll to release from the grapple. Uh, I'm going to throw one at Spiky Ivy's mouth. You're going to throw it at yeah, Spiky yeah. Ivy's mouth. Okay. Yeah, because I'm strong. I will also do the same. Okay. Well, both of you roll a strength check. Perfect. And thirteen. Ho oh, ho! Sixteen. And I just flex in front of this young gun. <laughs> um, it is too large for you to actually throw it. Yeah. Um, you try to throw it, and it just kind of like, whoops! I let go. <laughs> uh, you try to throw it, and it moves a couple feet in towards, the right direction. Yeah, towards uh, the owl bear, but. Uh, definitely not enough to actually get it there. Um, and the owlbear is currently eating the, uh, the, the first one. Um, so. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm holding onto this giant spider's leg, and I'm seeing him eating a spider that was killed by somebody else? Yes. So he's fine with just old, reheated food. That's what I was trying to tell you this whole time, yeah. man. All right, so I don't know if spiky eyes. So now, so now the spider is attacking. That is free is now going to attack you. Wonderful, thanks for that. And <laughs> it does hit. Um, mine helmet. Mine helmet. Yeah, I think I knocked it over. Uh, so <laughs> it's going to do. Ooh. Uh, ten piercing <laughs> damage to you. So ten damage. Okay. And yeah, then nice. you got to make a Constitution saving throw. Oh. So roll roll your d20. I love this for me. <laughs> Seven. Seven. What's your constitution uh, plus? Uh, <laughs> okay, so you got a nine total. Okay, so you now take uh, nine poison damage. Jeez. No, you grab it so it can't bite you. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, good thing we had a fighter with the most HP. How much damage did it do to you? 19. Yeah, I would have three. 19 damage? Um, I still have 20. Yeah, I feel like fine. not great. But... An embarrassment of riches, truly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other spider that you threw, yeah. but, which is now free, uh -oh. goes to attack you. I let him go. You were trying to throw it towards the owl bear. Yeah, I could see that. So it went, oh. it went like five feet away, but now it's coming back. Do you factor in the plus two for my shield with my armor class? So the 19? Uh, yes, it rolled a 19. Meets it, beats it, and it has some plus. So yeah. yeah. Uh, right, good up. You though, are, what's your AC? 17 now. Mm, it also hits. These spiders have been rolling pretty good. That's it. Um, <laughs> it does nine damage to you and roll a constitution save. Oh, we're good at those. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, so you take. Oh, except I have advantage because it's against poison. Yeah. Yeah, but it's one of the you already succeeded. Oh. Um, <laughs> so you only take uh, four poison damage, and I only take half of that. No, that's that is the half. Yeah, but then it's half on top of that because I'm resistant oh, to the damage. Great. There you go. Okay. Um, what are what are the other of y'all doing? Seeing that the spiders are free, I think I'm going to engage now. Okay, so then I think we need to roll for initiative. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. What do we got? Oh, it's a dexter. <laughs> okay, so 10 for Glob, 14 for Radin. Uh, big hot six over here, Jeremy. <laughs> Always one behind me. I feel seven. seven. <laughs> dice over. You're not doing too well today. That's okay. Oh, now yeah, you're nice. Are you uh, kidding me? That's about as high as I've rolled. <laughs> well, they uh, they did not do so well either. So you're not you're not too far behind. Uh, okay, so uh, Radon is first. Okay. Um, what's the damage type for the? Uh, the new sword that you got. So mad. Uh, the new sword that you got. Oh, just a 19. Okay, cool. <laughs> Only when it doesn't mean anything. 
Do, do, do. Yo, Hot Wings sound really good. Right now. Dude, I would. <laughs> I, 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 I went to Buffalo Wild Wings last night for dinner. Um, it is. Oh, it's, 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 oh, it's versatile, so you can do one or two handed. Uh, oh. so it's one d eight if it's one handed, and one d ten if it's two handed. Okay, so same as together. Uh, which Tops. seems weird. Yeah. Together, you have four hands. Yeah. But I, I guess the only touch like just one hands. Full bar baby. Yes. Yep. Wait, that's when you need to ask for the target to affect the creature. I feel it's an extra. F- <laughs> what? Hold on. Wait, what? what? The on. sword of sharpness? Yeah. Is it just the same? Oh, that's no, that's just the regular long sword, is those stats. Mm-hmm. This. Okay, I was going to say. When you attack a tonic with this magic sword and hit it, maximize your weapon damage dice against the target. Oh. Um, target takes an extra 14 slashing damage then roll another d20 if you roll a 20 you lop off one of the target's limbs which with the effect of such loss from magic yeah, she says no limbs you know okay um, over here like i'm good yeah. wanted that so <laughs> <laughs> look at that my stupid wrestling 14 if you hit roll 20 yeah. minutes roll. it's like when you attack creatures with weapon and roll, oh, that's if you roll a twenty. That's uh, an no, extra no, 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 no. fourteen. Oh, I was like, yo. Yeah. So yeah, you just get max dice damage. So you automatically get an eight or a ten, depending on if you're one or two handed. Okay. Plus whatever your extra is. So so you originally you said this was just a two handed sword, but it, it's, it's I, it can be either. either. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna swing. I'm shield in one hand. I'll swing with with. Okay. Uh, the sword. Okay. Is that a two or a five? That's, That's, a two. Two. That's unfortunate. I don't think that hits, but you do get two attacks as a fighter. Oh, yeah. That's true. So um, go again. Swing again. Yeah. We'll go again. I gave you that sword to hit him with. Six. What's your bonus? <laughs> so you're sure. it's strength. Oh, seven. That's uh, proficiency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven. So 13. Ooh, does not hit. Does not hit. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Don't I have? I also have action surge. You can do that if you want. You only get it once per well, rest. Per rest. Yeah, but you do have a second wind to heal yourself as well. It's okay. It's so frustrating when you get those turns where nothing yeah. happens. That's <laughs> Because I'll just go die then. <laughs> yeah. Just be dead. Uh, okay, next is Glob. Glob, I'm okay, so I'm on Pouncy and I'm kind of fighting it. So I'm going to use my bone here. No, you got off Pouncy. I got back on Pouncy. Oh. Did I? I can get off of him again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're you're not on bounce. I got off bounce. <laughs> I'm actually not sure if Pouncy would have allowed you to ride him in the first place. So we'll t- <laughs> actually this place would be some half orcs. I don't know if you, he's actually big enough for you to ride him. Okay. Oh, there well, you go. <laughs> um, well, she, she's a rogue. She might be a light half orc. A small height. <laughs> small She's probably the same height. <laughs> um. Anyways, okay. I'm not near the spiders, so I'm gonna just. Shoot him with my bow and arrow. Hold on. Sorry, okay. let, me, let me equip myself really quick. Please hold. Is it a bow and arrow or a crossbow? It is a crossbow. Oh, it's a crossbow light. Yes. With my shooty shooty. Okay, there we go. All right, make your attack roll. Okay, whatever. So I yelled over here, I gave you that so you could hit him with it. And then over there, I went, uh, as she shoots, I go, I gave you that crap so you could turn invisible and stab him. <laughs> um, I got 17 plus 10. That hits. <laughs> um, cool. So that's uh, Wendy. Uh, which one are you attacking? Attack the one next to him or not? Next? Attack the one next to him for reasons. The one next to Dylan. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you roll three extra d6. Yep. Really? Sneak yep. attack. <laughs> Rogue sneak attack. Once per turn if you have... Either if you have advantage or if you have an ally next to them. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, okay. 12 plus 10 is 22 plus 4, 26. 26. This spider is, is dead. dead. Shot is literally exactly 26. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, you, you run right through it. Would, would you like to describe, uh, since you just one shot killed this thing, the way in which your crossbow bolt? Ooh, are you are you spider. standing? Are you like grappled by him? Like, what's your situation right now? No. Um, Who's by him? Yeah, just near. I just I just swung and I missed. 
It's super embarrassing. Twice. So I stumbled on I'm on the floor. You're prone. Because I am prone. Okay. He's not prone. Okay. No. no. You just missed. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so I climb up with Pouncy. I'm like, you don't hurt my friends. And I load my crossbow, I take an aim. And it shoots. And it goes right into his open mouth. And out his head. Nice. Gee, that's worse than I thought it would be. Yeah. <laughs> and there's some little entrails falling behind off. That I got caught on the arrow. Just pulling it up. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Never mind. Have, I don't think spiders are brave like that, but it looks like you've got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is the spider's turn, and it is going to go back for Jack as the one who was uh, grabbing. Did I turn before them? Uh, no. They get to go twice. Uh, because we started initiative. You know what? You're right. I gave them a turn before. You can go now. I played it. Mm, there's just two of them left. Just one. Just one of them left? It's the no. very one. Oh, yeah, yeah, because Pouncy. Mm-hmm. Wow. That duo really just doing everything. So it's just the one left. I'm going to walk up to the owlbear then and be like, okay, bro, what do you what do you want? Like, is this, are you, are you sated? Is this everything you needed? I guess I don't need to attack this spider then. You got your fill? Um... The owlbear speak common. Let's find out. Uh, the owlbear has no idea what you're saying, um, but it has just finished eating the one spider mm-hmm. and uh, sees you and gives you a weird look as it runs over to eat the other spider that is now also dead. All right, what do we need with this stupid tree? Um, but there's still the third spider, so. Um, that is, the, that is your turn? Dead? Yeah, but the spiders weren't attacking us until we attacked, right? And, uh, correct. And when we attacked the spiders, the other spiders didn't do anything. Is the third spider looking third, to attack us? The third spider, uh, is eyeing you very closely. Oh. Actually, you would have just exited its reach. Oh, the one that was attacking me the mm-hmm. whole time? Yeah. Oh, that's why it would have attacked me. Yeah. Then yeah, I wouldn't go. I, I guess I would just punch it then. If it's <laughs> if it's actively hurt. Yeah. Me. Yeah. It's it's still in your in your whole interactional day. Yeah. It, 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 it just missed you last. No, it didn't hit you last. No, it hit me. It hurt. It hurt. Yeah. Wait. Okay. So I killed a spider. Pouncy killed a spider. Mm-hmm. And uh, Torrance has got one more on him. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know. I thought we had killed another spider. I'll calmly put my holy symbol back on and just go fine. And I just two hand this warm hammer. Anyways, who's next? <laughs> eleven? Uh yeah, eleven does not hit. Yeah. But next is Jeremy. Uh chill touch on the last spider. Okay. How do you feel about uh 18 on the die plus seven? Definitely hits. Cool. <laughs> this one's cool. Time out product, buddy. Minister three. Do you want another one? It'll be a total of 10 necrotic damage. damage. Okay. <laughs> also, uh, it can't heal. In case I'll give him a you. chance. <laughs> okay. And I believe that's everything. So I can do. Uh, I'm still going to try and, like, basically like, skirt my way around the action to try and, like, get the long way around to the tree. Okay. Um. Well, it is now. Uh, going to attack you as the person who just attacked it last. Am I in, in its range? Uh, y- yes. Uh, cool, cool, cool. It, it runs right up to you. you yeah, make good. Very, then I take an attack of opportunity. Make it very far. Um, yes, yes, you do. Aha! And this time. Oh, it's white on you. Right? Ha! 19 to hit. You hit. Nice. Mm-hmm. 12 damage. Okay. It did a damage. It did a damage. It's hurting, but it ain't dead. Uh, so it is going to take a swipe at Jeremy. Okay. And it is going to get a 17. Oh, yeah. AC is 13. Mm, yeah, it hits. Uh, so nine damage. Okay. 
uh, and make a constitution saving throw. Huh. Oh, that's I felt that one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then that will be. Uh, another nine poison damage. Ooh. Guys, good news. I'm down to four hit points. Oh, I'm amazing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have a potion. <laughs> <laughs> I kept it for a reason. <laughs> uh, okay. Who's up next? Uh, oh, the spiders are up next. The one sp- Oh, no, that's just what the spiders did. Next is Radon. Oh. There's something wrong with that die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I rolled a bunch of low numbers just before this. So my yeah. last turn. Okay, okay. so uh, you you would double your dice, but since with that sword you automatically have highest. Oh, that's right. Then you would get uh 16 plus and you 14. plus you get a 14, so you get 30 damage plus your strength. <laughs> Uh, and you cut off the limb. And you cut, and off, the cut off the limb. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna. Keep this spider is very, very dead. So you just tell me what you want that to look like. Okay. So um, I take I take my brand new shiny sword, uh-huh. two hand in it because why not? Um, just to make it look all that much cooler. I slice it right between its head and its abdomen, and it just like splits in half, and then. Um, one of its legs also falls off. Um, and I keep one of its legs as a trophy. Yeah, I, 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 I hang its leg on my belt to keep it as a trophy to show my father to prove him that I can kill beasts. The leg is like longer than your whole body. You, <laughs> exactly. You sure do. The leg is just, it's just dragging. Here's Fucking the spider's leg. Amazing! <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold it. <laughs> Oh, he's my spider. Okay, uh, the owlbear finishes eating the second spider and goes up and starts eating the third one that you just killed. Enjoy. Uh, uh, you are now out of combat. The owlbear seems to not care about you guys at all. It's really Maybe let's should make it eat it then. Um, I would, I'm going to play with green healing food. I don't know if we would get along okay. on a fundamental level. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I guess what would you like to do now? I'd like to drink a potion of greater healing. <laughs> drink away. <laughs> How much does that heal? That's a great question. Wait, do you want healing? I can just heal you. Yeah, but it's spell slots, right? Uh, 44 plus 4. 4d4 four plus 4. Yep. Okay. I just have to be able to touch you. How is everybody else feeling? Okay. Okay. Nine plus four is. You got some hits for me. I like these little baby ones. Thank you. Thank you. Did you just roll another bad money? No. no I, oh, still. Oh, Jess. Oh, cool, cool, cool. If you were this guy, that would be a crit. Champion. I've had what, how many twenties this game? Three. <laughs> it's been three. It's an unbelievable. <laughs> it has been spitter trap. <laughs> it's three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that anyone's counting. No, no. Okay. Uh, so you have successfully dealt with all three spiders. Yarrow bears just munching away on this guy right here. Um, and uh, yeah, what would you like to do now? Let's get to the tree. Yeah. See what the heck is going Let's on. Go to the tree. Okay. I'm gonna surround the tree. May I investigate the tree? As you approach the tree, birds scatter from the tree as its limbs start to move. Oh. Oh. One of the branches moves oh. to reveal oh, shut up. a smiling face. <gasps> oh, that's so sick! Wait, he's so cute. I told you, life is everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, so cool. That's been there the whole time. I, I, I was sitting right here and I didn't even see it. It's like an ant. It's an awakened tree for purposes of copyright. (laughs) Okay, sorry. I didn't say that. Do you like chicken? I love chickens. They're so adorable. Oh, the way they run and flutter. Yeah. Well, yeah. What about the so, sanctity of life, my guy? Great. Mm-hmm. All right, great. Yeah. So naive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Innocent. So, uh, what you, or, what you, we saw this thing. Yeah, show the way. 
It's yeah. That says. Well, oh, it says you're hiding the way. That you're oh. hiding the way. What's the it what? Oh, the way. Yes, my branches have grown quite a bit lately. And the tree moves one of its branches and reveals oh, no. a door. Oh, what the frick? Okay, now we've got two doors. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I, I just got so excited. I saw nothing. Okay, so hear me out. We split the party. Mm, mm, mm. Always a good idea. <laughs> Immediately, <laughs> though. One thing, if there's ever one thing I've learned from DD, it's always split the party. 100%. Immediately, though. Um, hey, I actually have a question also, though, because it says um, the tree hides the way. And also, the name of that other group was called Home of Wind. I don't know if there's something there. Ooh. I don't know if there's something there. Um, well, but they were dead in the place that we found them. Was that then? Hey, yes. We, we, can, we confirmed that. Yeah. Just kidding. My name is Barkroot. That's pretty cool. I'm Torin. Torin Dustborn. Uh, what's back there? Oh, I've never been inside. You've been in front of it this whole time and you've never gotten to go in? Well, I don't fit. Do you want to? Uh, no. Inside is not as pleasurable as outside. Wait, yeah, be... wait. You said you've never been inside, but the inside is not as pleasurable as outside. All insides. He just means, like, because he needs the sun to move. Oh, right. It's like the opposite of the grass is always greener. Have you ever seen anybody go in there and witness them come out? Uh, no. Wait. Yes. Yeah, well, there you go. That was very vague. What do you mean, wait? I don't pay much attention to people. I'm more interested in the animals. But I think there was one, two, maybe, who went inside once. I thought I would check out my... Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm with Tirza. I mean, I'm with Glob on this one. <laughs> Glob, I agree that... The way that whole thing. Same. I think we should go back to the other group. Just I think we should go as far as the other group. That's impossible. Chicken wing. <laughs> Real quick. Hey, oh, you, 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 I throw my chicken wing at the door. Uh, nothing happens. Not a mimic. But uh, Not you a mimic. do notice that the handle of the door has got a light blue glow to it. It does. It really. It straight up does. Yeah. It truly does. Ooh. Uh, this is magic. Okay. Hold on. I might have a thing for this. Knock? I have knock. Yes. Um, is it worth the spell slot or should we have the rogue go at it first? Probably the rogue go at it first, I would assume. Real quick though, bark root. Um, so Alex Jade scales, you seen them around recently? Mm, oh, the dragonborn. Yes, I saw him uh, an hour ago. Yeah, well, what? Or maybe it was a year ago. Oh, my. Okay. A lot of elves do this too. Mm -hmm. They don't, there's the, the starts of time is making sense. Um, uh, okay, so solve an internal debate for us. Uh, Alex, uh, are, are Alex's parents? A gold and a green dragonborn, or does he have a partner and they have an egg and they're expecting currently? Oh, the dragonborns who lived here yesterday. Uh, there was two, and then there was three. Okay. And was Alex the third, or no? Yes. Anyways, yeah, let's call this door. I still think it's a bad idea. I just want to see what's inside. I mean, I we don't have to go through it. I just want to open it up and see. Okay. And by I want to open it up, I mean. Mm. Glob will open it up. Bob? Got it. I'm going to open the door. Okay. Pick, the, pick that lock. That's a sliding. Uh, it's a dexterity plus proficiency. So plus seven. Okay. Oh, that's a uh, 16. 16, uh, this door does not seem to be locked by a mechanical means. Um, 
I'd like to cast knock. The door swings open. But yeah. Can I also make it seem like God totally opened it? <laughs> like I did cast. You knock. absolutely can. Fantastic. <laughs> You're such a mess. Like, oh, wow, Bob, you did it. Wow. Every time. Should, Man, every time. adventuring with you has been so great. Honestly, definitely been the highlight of this semester. Okay, <laughs> the door's open, and we look inside, but we don't go inside. I know you're looking for a way to use your magic. We'll get to a point where you can actually use your magic, and we'll be able to sign off for you. That sounds great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Invisibility is pretty cool with that. Uh, this is upstairs. Upstairs. Yeah. yeah, we don't see that. I don't see that. Uh, a torch lights the entrance to this musty dungeon. Leaning against one wall is a skeleton without a skull. Clutched in one of its bony hands is a fine scimitar. Other curious items, a shield, a book, a frosty staff, are scattered throughout the gloom. A ladder ascends to a closed cell door. Three black globs of ooze creep across the dungeon floor. Behind them, floating in the air, are several items. A glowing yellow gemstone, a skull, and a silvered frying pan. Now... That probably looks really good. Oh, it might be a magic frying pan. Also, the shield might be a shield. I could use one of those. <laughs> the shield could be a shield. What if, what if we don't go all the way in? We just grab a shield real quick and... Uh, Oh, can I use the ring real quick? Any? Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Or actually, you're you might be sneakier than me. I'm pretty slow. Says the dwarf in full plate mail. <laughs> breastplate, yeah. breastplate. You know what I'm thinking? You might be sneakier than I am. <laughs> I wonder what gave you that. What, yeah. what gave you that impression? Oh, oh, and you grab the bag and then just walk around and stuff all the good stuff in there, and then just come on out. Okay. You're, you're invisible. Yeah. Can you buy They can't see you with their eyes. Oh, they might have. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that might not do anything. Can I make an insight check on this? And be like, uh, do they seem like they would care if we're invisible or if they have, I don't know, tremor sense or something? Do a nature check. All right. Oh! That's a minus one. Uh, 18. Oh, okay. Well, you recognize these as black puddings. Mm, yep. Yummy. Um, <laughs> uh, very not good. <laughs> um, they have no eyes. Uh, no eyes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you suspect that the way they find their prey is by non-visible means. You're in you remember everything that I just said? Mm -hmm. Never mind. Okay, are you sure? You got plus 10 stealth, so I mean... Oh, oh weird. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I still go I think. still go for it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just gonna... like light steps. Light, light steps. steps. So lightly go in. Yeah, okay. like right, gonna... grab something around your... So you're going to go sneak in? I'm going to sneak in. All right, yeah, roll me. Shoot the bag of holding. Good. Roll me a, a stealth I'm check. Give you my ring because I don't remember you right now. Oh heck yeah! Not everybody has eyes. Nobody has eyes. Okay. Also, drop my crossbow because it's the most disappointing sound. With just <laughs> with uh, uh, the poison dagger. The poison dagger. I think I'll get it. Okay. okay. Uh, what? Uh, what are you? What'd you roll for your stealth? I haven't yet. And you should have uh, proficiency or something. What'd you roll? Or expertise. I rolled a sixteen, so that's twenty-six. Okay. Yeah, you easily are able to sneak around the black puddings um, without being detected. So, uh, as you can see, there are those things we mentioned: the skeleton and uh, the skeleton with the scimitar. Uh, a shield, a book. Um, on this side of the room is this frosty staff. Um, but what they don't have a Lego of is floating in air. Uh, a glowing yellow gemstone, a skull, and a silvered frying pan before you get to that staff. Some sketchy things. Okay, I'm gonna um, grab the shield. Okay. Where's the shield? Is that, is that this thing? Yeah. And look, I can uh, just 
remove this. Oops. One moment. I just take this back wall off. Whoa. Where is it? Where's the, where's the theirs? Oh, wow. Well, that's nice. nice. We can get Brad. We can yep. get to the shield. Grab the shield. Uh huh. Put it in the bag. And the book. Secrets. Uh, in the book. Uh huh. Got the book for you. Okay. With my nerd friend. Um, I'm gonna also grab the yellow gem. Okay. Oops. Load. Oh, I thought that was a bad idea. Sure. Well, I'm just grabbing stuff. As you reach for the yellow gem, I'm readying in action to be able to rain down holy fire on anything that touches. But you're not inside. As you reach for the gem, your arm slows as it touches up against something very thick. Yeah. It's a gelatinous candy. And a baby. Yeah. Baby. 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 Um, you. You take one d4, I think, what, acid? Acid damage. Mm -hmm. Damage as you enter the gelatinous cube. Okay. Blob, you've been blobbed. I've been blobbed. And what, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to be honest, I've never um, been in a gelatinous cube before. I don't know what I can do. Is she all in or just arm? In? Just her arm as you reached in. Okay. Um, can try to pull my arm out. Like, you surely can. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um. Do, do, do. Yeah. Make a. Let me see it. Strength. Strength usually. Don't stop me. <laughs> yeah. You. You do not succeed. Uh, and in fact, you are now engulfed up to your shoulder. Oh. Do I take more damage? Uh, on your next turn, you will. Okay. I'm going to yell for help. All right. What's your thief in hand? You see what happens. Right. We're you you yell for help? Well, we can see it, right? We can understand the door. Uh, it's you can see her going like this. With my ready to okay. action, would I be able to run in? Uh, you can. Do you, if, if you feel like your character would know what's happening, yeah. Because okay. the, the, ooze, the, the ooze is, is the technically point. transparent. It's not technically. Oh, and I said I would rain down. So, I don't know. Tell me if I would recognize that her arm being stuck right here. Um, Roll a perception. Ooh, ooh. Perception or insight? Either way, yeah. Uh, 22. You you would figure it out, yep. Right, then I want to go ahead and holy fire that thing. Holy fire. Holy fire away. How does that spell work? Uh, that is sacred flame. And it has to make a deck save. Okay. DC 15. It meaning the globs. The glob. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but not me. Uh, but not me. Uh, it surely glob. fails. 2d8 radiant damage. 2d8 radiant damage. Where's that 8? Oh, do you want to roll it? I, just oh. rolled, I rolled pretty high, but you can roll it if you want. I can Next roll show. lower. It's yeah, the, that's 7 total. Well, I rolled 14, so I'll, oh, give, you, way I'll give you 14. Um, the cube that that poor Glob is stuck in. Stuck. You can see the skull and the tan and the glowing yellow gem. Okay, um, so the cube took 14 damage. Um, since that was a ready action, it was outside of combat, but we will now roll for initiative in the combat. Um, the, what is that actual fire? Uh, no, it's radiance. Okay. It's radiant fire is technically. Um, so it's radiant damage, not fire damage, but it is flames. It is flames. Okay. Uh, the black puddings retreat and scatter. Yes. Nice. At the flames. Yeah, every roller because it was cocked, and I was like, oh, I can't say this as a 14. Oh! You two? One. All right. <laughs> what's, what's, what's going on with the problem? All right, so what, what's our order? What, um, what we got, Jeremy? I got 11. Okay, Glob well, got 11. I got a big old four. I got two. Jeremy got a four. That was really sad. Jim, I also got a four. Ha! Catching up. <laughs> hey, at least you're not lost. Yeah, honestly, I'm old enough to get it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a nap. I'm not a nap. 
Bowling alley. Uh, oh, this is the evening out. This, this it's this is the karma coming full. Three to one for, for rolling three twenties. <laughs> All right, we'll try another guy. <gasps> Whoa! Wait, what? It's program <laughs> does different things on different faces. Okay, Glob, uh, it is your turn, and you take one d four acid damage. Okay. Because you're starting your turn in the glob, in, in the ooze. Okay. Um, is it is it one d four? I just kind of made that up because so I couldn't remember what it was, and I didn't want to take the time to look. The last one was a d four, so. Yeah, I just don't remember if that's actually what it is. Oh. Either way, go for it. I did. I got four. Uh, what's your what do you want to do for your action for your turn? I want to wiggle out. Okay. Uh, make a strength check. Easy, easy peasy. There you go. Ten. Ten does not get you out. Um, hey, time out. Jeremy. Oh, also, uh, that radiant thing. Was she in it? No. It's a large cube. Yeah. Uh, it is a large cube. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> that's the part that. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's also just like that's like one target. Yeah. Something. Oh, it's, it's a target. It's not a yeah. five foot pillar. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, okay, Jeremy. Uh, I like to cast magic missile using my scroll of magic missile on the gelatinous cube. Go for it. Where's, where's so that, that is an automatic hit. I roll. Where are your 44? Hold on. Four? Uh, boop, boop, boop. Sorry. Double second. Sorry, everybody. You're good. Uh, 3d4. So, what is going to be? Your mini 4 Ooh, that could be worse. Uh, oh, J- Jaden. <laughs> Have you been live on YouTube? I'm not be waiting on TikTok. Oh, yeah, on YouTube. Oh no. Hi, Jaden. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Jaden. Oh, hi, Jaden. Nine, nine force damage. Okay. Uh, For two hours. <laughs> Jaden, no. So no. Um, Jaden, Jaden's been waiting for. Two hours? Did Jeez. you put that on your TikTok today? I said it was on YouTube on my videos, so. It's on you, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, next, Torin. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to go run to my wings, buddy. And wings, buddy. Uh, which hand? Okay, so you put one in to reach. Uh-huh. Is the other one holding a bag or a I'm dagger? Assuming- I did what I probably did to reach. I probably have like the bag and the dagger like in one, and I'm using it like the bag is like kind of hanging over okay. to like put. I'm just there. gonna grab that dagger real quick and just kind of like cut at. See, see if I can just like slice away some of the ooze. Oh, to, to make it a little looser when I work. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Roll. Roll an attack. Oh, okay. Dagger. Um. 13. 13. Uh, yeah, you hit. Nice. Uh, the very low armor class. So. <laughs> um, yeah, and now do... Um, what would that be to, like, finesse that into that area? Um, yeah, roll me, roll me a sleight of hand. Sure. So, when you roll a 1, it does a special thing where it it lets you know that you failed. <laughs> um, well, unfortunately, in your attempts to just chop around Tears's arm, yeah, 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 you yeah. did in fact chop Tears's arm. Oh, oh. yeah, I got no, oh. no. It, but, oh. I but, was like, whoa, that's extreme. Jeez. But but you got nicked. Um, so uh, what's the damage on that dagger? Oh, you have that information because oh, that's the specialty one. Um, you know what? Let's. <laughs> it's acid. <laughs> yeah, you're you're gonna take uh one d four acid damage. Does the glob take any? Be worse. Um, yeah, the glob does take that also. Yes. Um, so you can you can roll a separate d four for how much you damage the glob. Did you want to roll a d? Four. Nice. Okay. Four to the glob. And one to the glob. Oh wait, no. One to glob, four to the cube. The glob is oh yeah, the first yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, my confusing name. 
Okay. Uh, the cube is up next, and the cube is going. Wait, I need to know. Is, oh, this is awesome. Are the other cubes moving? Uh, the puddlings pushed as far to the walls as they could to get away from the flames. The, but the other floating items are those moving? Uh, no, they're they're very close to this one. They are very close. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to as a bonus action. What? He said, I kept checking back. I kept checking back for the notifications that you were live. I didn't even think to check the video. So I texted Uni and was like, What's when is he going live? And she was like, Brushing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, well, we're glad you're here now, dude. <laughs> bonus action, sacred weapon. <laughs> okay. Um, then that sacred weapon is going to also try to finesse into this um, cube. Okay. Because I stabbed you once. He did. Uh, Shame on you. Shame on me. Stab you twice. <laughs> Shame on you. Uh, true. It's 16 to hit. Hits. Yay. What was the damage on that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 1d8 plus 4. 10 damage. 10 damage. All right. And this is trying to chop around? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Give me a sleight of hand. Oh, boy. Hey. Uh, 18 plus zero is 18. That, that'll do it. There we nice. Go. Um, you have loosened up that area. Tirza's next check will be easier. Perfect. Um, it's jello. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So now it is the cube's turn. Um, and it's going to start moving towards this person who just stabbed it. Why would I do that? Um, so, uh, Jack, make a dexterity saving throw. I'm nothing if not dexterous. 15. No, 16. Okay. You negative. succeed. Yeah, that's right. Um, you can either be pushed five feet back or to the side. Um, and I'll let you choose where your character would jump. Um, I would want to stick near my buddy. So I'll, I'll, if I can get just behind Blob, okay. get ready to yank if I need to. Yep. Okay. Uh, that means it is now Radon's turn. Okay. Um, real quick, what does the Potion of Heroism do? Potion of Heroism? That's a great question. Uh, for one hour after drinking it, you gain ten temporary hit points that last for one hour. Hmm. Okay, well... Uh, okay. You are also under the effect of the Bless spell. Ooh, that's a d4 to a bunch of stuff. Ooh. Attack sensei. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Checks um, too, I think. I'll save that for later, because I feel like I'm going to leave there. Um, but we're going to go with my slashing sword again. We're just going to do one-handed. So is that also just one, one d8? One, well, whatever. First... Two. Awesome. Love it. Uh, what What's your plus? First string. Seven, probably. Uh, yeah, so nine. That hits. Oh. The AC is. Awesome. Short. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's nine. Okay. Yeah. And then... It's really hard to not hit this thing. Was it a 1d8 for... Um... Uh, well, if it's with your magic sword, it's automatically an eight. Because oh. you get the full dice on that magic sword plus your strength. So that would be 12. Yeah. On that hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And you can take a second attack. Mm, sure, we'll do it. Second attack. Five plus that seven. hits. <laughs> okay. So don't hit. Got it. And you get that twelve again. Yeah. You might hit on everything but a crit fail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep, correct. The AC for a cube is six. Six? Six. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, big, <laughs> big six. Uh, that is your last attack on your turn. Correct. Back to Glob. I'm gonna try to wiggle free. All right. Roll a roll a strength. You got this, Glob. Come on, Glob. Five. Five. <laughs> you don't get free, and you do take an extra one d eight of damage. D eight, Glob. Or, no, not one d eight. One d six. Because it's now up to your shoulder. Oh, you God. need to get Glob out of the Glob, y'all. Okay, guys. Um. And uh, go ahead and make a. Mm. This is 
sneezing. <laughs> make make a dexterity save. Okay, it's gonna be a lot better. These strength ones are killing me. Uh, that's fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, you're good. You don't get sucked deeper in. Okay. Um. Okay. And Jeremy. Um. Okay. Let's do something kind of stupid. Uh-oh. Yeah. Um. So. I'm going to run in, try to grab Glob and totally miss and have my hands go, go into the cube. And then act like I'm going to do it the entire time and cast Shocking Grasp on the cube. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, so here's the thing about Shocking Grasp. If the target's wearing uh, armor made of metal, I get advantage on Shocking Grasp. Obviously, it's not wearing armor, but it does have metal inside it. That's true. Yeah, I'll give it. Tight. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Mostly just to see if I crit. Oh. I don't, but I definitely hit. Oh, uh, it's gonna be two d8 lightning damage. No, or something at twenty four. Also struck by this. Uh, yes. Uh, ten lightning damage. Cheers, I take it as well. Oh, I have one make, point make left. A, so make a constitution. Only make, a constitution nice to me. make a constitution saving throw. Okay. We might have it. Ten? Yeah. Have it. Yay! <laughs> oh. So I don't take, take a five. I take five. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then as a bonus action, can I try and can I try and pull the glob out with you? As a bonus action to pull glob out. I don't know. People who have DM'd before, is that a, a small enough action to be a bonus action? I would usually, if uh, trying to escape is a full action from the cube. I would say trying to pull somebody out is usually is how I would. That's that's what I was thinking. I okay. will let you use your bonus action to not get sucked in by the cube. If that is what you're trying to do. Can I use my bonus action to try and give her advantage on her next escape attempt? Um, no, I think that would be a help action. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. You then I'll I'll just hang out here and try to get sucked in further. Okay. I'm sorry, that would work. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, Torin. Okay. How bloody does this cube look? Um, <laughs> it's definitely taken some hits, but it's it's hard to tell on just on a yeah. group of yeah. Yeah. Just give me a nice little tug. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give a little tug. <laughs> Are you gonna you're gonna give a help? Is that what you're doing? I was I was just gonna use an action just to pull her out. Okay, what'd you roll? Yeah, uh, it's not really important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, five. Okay, yeah. Um, five. Five does not pull her out. Nope. Cool. Um, can I have my sword pull her out as my bonus action? Because it gets an attack on the bonus action, or does it just need to start s- slashing? Wait, your sword gets its own attack on a bonus action? Yeah, my spiritual weapon. So I guess um, it's um I if you could command I don't think your sword would have enough strength to be able to pull her out. Got it. So it's gonna keep carving then. Okay. Oh, I put all my dice in jail. Well <laughs> here, have another one. Did you hit it? Uh well it's a two, but it's plus seven. So, so technically, yeah, yeah I do. And it good. beats it. Need to find um, nice. <laughs> um, my little baby guy worked really well earlier. Really Thirteen. Thirteen damage. Okay, and uh, give a sleight of hand to see if you succeed at. What is this? A D twenty for opening up a little bit. <laughs> give me a better twenty. Hey, fifteen. Fifteen. Nice. Okay, it will now be even easier yeah. to get out next time. All right, well, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> which is good because it's the cube's turn. And uh, Jack, make another dexterity saving. Oh, good. Um, you want the little guy? All of mine are in jail. I just need to find a different something else. Here we go. Eight. Plus zero. So it's <laughs> eight. Uh, okay, so you fail. Mm. So uh, you are now uh, in the creature, and you take. Uh, are all three of you in the cube now? Oh my god! 
Uh, you take uh, 3d6 acid damage. Oh, okay. And is engulfed. Oh, you're just in it. Oh, I'm all uh, the thing. And that's technically what it says. Um, but uh, 11. We'll, we'll say because it's already got two other people it's dragging with it that only uh, your your arm and half of you is in it for now. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, Radon. 17. 17 surely hits. Okay. Um, we're going to two hand with the slashing sword. Okay. Uh, hold on. That's. 20 again? It's uh yeah, that's gonna be a 10 plus seven automatically. Uh which or plus four, yeah, yeah. which does kill it. Sweet. Hey, so uh, the rest oh. the ooze melts oh, to the oh, ground oh, oh. and the three of your companions are free. Overhead slash! It just melts! <laughs> There's still a uh, is there any is there any like little like pieces of jello that I can like also attach to my belt? Uh no, but there is the little baby one. Um uh, you know that uh, baby gelatinous cubes acid is not strong enough to do damage, so it's just it's just there. It might like come up and like try to be like, eh, but it, it's just <laughs> it's just it's, it's, yeah, it's just, just jello. Be, I just wanted a piece of jello, but you know, it's yeah. Bad, after so. it dies, it globs onto the floor. So yeah. you could, if you had the container, it's okay. Sorry, right. I'll be okay without a without a trophy. Just okay, this is a jar. <laughs> um. Well fought. Um, we're at two hours, so we're going to take a brief five-minute break. Uh, yes, we will give you all of your treasure after. Yeah. Get get some drinks, get some snacks if you want. We got our pantry upstairs. We got some snacks. I know watching YouTube, we're going to take a little five-minute break. Yeah. Thank you, five. And we'll, uh, we'll say thank you, five. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to need some... Some healing. <laughs> I am. Yeah, I, I got real bad. That's, that's the order number one. Secondary off was like, hey, check this out. I cast fireball inside of it. Then you got engulfed, and I was like, that. All my things are like, oh, we do guidance. I'm like, why doesn't this a cleric have guidance? <laughs> it's like, got like junk and press the digitation. Yeah. And I'm like, that's real fun. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to right now and say, hey, it's over on YouTube. People say, yes. I do. Anything that's in there or in that first cover are all free game. Wow. Um, this is something that we should do. Hello, everyone who's coming in. We are just on a little break. We're going to be starting up again in just a minute or two. So uh, th thanks for being here. I gotta make sure that's still looking good. Yeah.
Hey guys, we are in the middle of our D&D campaign with the brand new Lego D&D set right now over on my YouTube channel. So come and check it out. We're just taking a little break right now, but the adventure will be continuing. All right. Oh, they're gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I had previously eaten two before I came, but when I ate one, and then I'm not sure. The other one. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> okay. Well, guess it's just me now. <laughs> it's just us. I was truly on death's door at the moment. <laughs> I'm so bloody though. I'm going to try this combination. I don't know how it's going to go. We're going to start it out. Yeah. I love experimenting with the set. Let me, let me see the set. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. All right, everybody. We're coming back in. Yeah. We've defeated the gelatinous cube. So, you guys hear me? I'm thinking short rest. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I need. Help. You know, it helps with that mm -hmm. short rest. I'm gonna start touching everyone. <laughs> <laughs> are we out of combat? You are out of combat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you get the yellow, the yellow rock? Um, you need so. a food run out. If you guys know this, but, um, you're doing a food run to go to beat ups. I just ordered. I'm gonna do that right now. Um. Who needs? Are oh, you just helping her? Will you? Mm -hmm. Just tell her to just get a bunch of wings. Yeah, just get a bunch of wings. Yeah, just get a bunch of wings. <laughs> just get a bunch of wings, I guess. <laughs> Some of those, those like direct quotes three separate times. <laughs> get a bunch of wings. Yeah. Bunch of wings. Okay. <laughs> so. Well, what flavors do? That's actually good. So many. Well, Only like four are good though. I know that's true. Four. Only are good. Four are great. Classic garlic parmesan. Yep, those are my two go to. Asian heat is pretty good. The regular buffaloes. That's what, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's like buffalo sauce, man. It's good. Barbecue. Yep. 1d8 plus 7. Hooray! 1d8 plus 7? Yeah. I'm a white cleric. I like life. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's 8. Anybody else? Yeah, 6. High five appealing. Actually, didn't take any damage that time. 
I mean, I still have 25. I'm okay. Sure. Why not? High five of healing. Woo. One D plus seven. Sweet. Um, uh, I'm gonna get that frosty stay. But also for me. Ooh. You said one D eight plus seven? Yeah. Is this a D eight? Okay, a so uh released from the ooze is a silvered frying pan. Ooh. Um a skull and a uh, glowing yellow gem turns out to be a topaz worth 500 gold pieces. Whoa. Um, and uh, it is, it is light, light lit up. Um, the book and shield that you found are a tome of clear thought and a plus one shield. Yes. Tucked inside the book is a spell scroll of speak with dead. Oh. Guys, let's put the puzzle together. <laughs> what flavors did you say you wanted? Classic buffalo. Uh, that's just my dream. Uh, yeah. It's okay if I it's like like honey, shield. honey barbecue. Garlic parmesan. Yeah, that's one of the easy, easy favorites. Um. Also, I would like the silvered frying pan. It feels like it's good against undead. And they're an abomination. <laughs> Um, there is also a devotee's sensor on the floor. Uh, I guess I'm devotee. Probably see it. Deals an extra 1d8 radiant damage on a hit. Whoa. Can be used as a holy symbol. Whoa. And as a bonus action, you can cause the head of the flail to release a thin cloud of incense within a 10-foot radius for one minute. At the start of each of your turns, you and any other creature in the cloud regain 1d4 hit points. Oh, that's the weapon for the cleric. How many times can I do that? Unlimited? Uh, once per day. Okay. But the cloud of incense lasts for a minute. And it's every round? It's 1d4? Uh, at the start of each of your turns. Dang! Is this live? It is, yes. Yeah. Oh, McQuivy! Hi, Jaden McQuivy! Um... What's the damage on this thing? 1d8 plus? 1D8. Extra 1d8. So it's a it's a flail, so I don't know what that normally would be. I think it's a d8. Hi, so friends. 1d8 bludgeon, 1d8 radiant. <clears throat> Gnarly. Can I get the frosty stay up? Yes, you can. Yeah. Um, the uh, staff is a fully charged staff of frost. Uh, there's also a non-magical short bow lying on the floor right before it. <laughs> Dang. Uh, if anyone wants a short bow. Sure, I'll take the short bow. Why not? Um, for, for you, we just call those bows. <laughs> right. <laughs> Is that a short joke? Definitely. Yeah, let's see if I can... You're a gnome. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ha, gnome. Um, You're a gnome yeah. body. So there's, there's the scum uh, that you found. Thank right. you for acknowledging my ooze, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> well, we weren't sure you were ooing about this. It was, to the, okay. it was right when I said it. So I was like, literally me and TJ are like, uh. <laughs> Do we want traditional ones or boneless? Or boneless. Well, I was just going to have everyone pass it around. Yeah, so they just said order a ton of wings. It's, that's easier. So I'm just going to order. Just going to order like what? I don't know. Everyone's just been <laughs> everyone's just, just been 40, doing their 40, own 44. thing. <laughs> Traditional and boneless combo. Okay. Sure, let's do that. Um. Yeah. So there you go. Sweet. So oh, now we need a skull. Oh, we need a skull. I found a scroll of speak with dead. Oh. Yeah. So I, I'm not opposed to talking with the dead unless someone would like to. Okay, I'll do it. Give me this. Give me the skull. I'm gonna put the skull back on the skeleton with the scimitar. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice! I'm gonna politely remove the scimitar. Uh, as you remove the scimitar, the skeleton falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start slowly putting it back together. <laughs> uh, you also, out. you also know from the scroll that you just need the skull. Yeah, but I thought it'd be polite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I'm gonna loosely arrange the bones that fell apart. Okay. Because <laughs> if like you were here the whole time, uh, put the skull where the skull would roughly go in that. And uh, the scimitar, by the way, is where is it? 
What is the skin tar? Um, I'm gonna show you all. Oh, here it is. Uh, scimitar of speed. <coughs> Ooh. Couple I, don't know of that I was getting three things of the combination, and then three of my flavors. So, how many wings is that though? Plus two bonus to attack and damage with, with this magic weapon. Do I have to attack with it? Um, Just if, it yeah, attack and damage made with this magic weapon. Yeah. Um, in addition, you can make one attack with it as a bonus action on a ticket turn. So, that's pretty good one. Okay. Um, okay, and you cast Speak with Dead. Speak with Dead on the skull. Okay. Uh, we know Speak with Dead allows you to ask how many questions? Five. Speak five questions. Okay. Oh. Okay, I should have thought this out before I did this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is this on? That's 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> she said yes. Five of you. That's uh, about seven each. Yeah. I also threw ten in there already. Oh, yeah. And Jack already got his own. Oh, okay. So you should actually be good. Don't, to don't give, me, give me suggestions, not the skull. Come, come to me. Are you okay, good? Yes. Okay. I ordered, he already ordered our own. Um, Slide How did you get here? Uh, okay. 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 Just Who are you? Are you are you? Are you also good? Mm-hmm. I'll start with those two. First, who, who are you, Skull? I am Estus what? the Cleric, good friends, member of the Hard Way. Well, they got spread all over the place. I just noticed that, so I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is how he learns. The auditory. Okay, just letting you know. So we know he's a member. Right, they were fine. Oh. Um. <laughs> do you know what happened yeah. to Alec? Alex Jade Scales. Oh, what? Hmm. Oh, I was. What happened to Alex? Jade Scales? That's a new name. What else he says no? Um. Let me see if he knows. Uh, of this, I did not read it. Uh, no, I have never heard of Alex Jade Scales before. Oh yeah, because he was hired by the. Yeah. All right. Did Mary Bertoni? I know. That's why I know Mary Stack Act. What's behind the door? Mm-hmm. Stupid mm-hmm. I don't know. Where... Oh, oh yeah, the cellar door. Yeah. Ask him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or whatever is oh, behind. We're just where, how do we get to the next place? I don't think this is part of this. Okay. There's a ladder up this, this up here. Is, is there a ladder? ladder in the meadow? There, yeah, there's a ladder up to that door. Okay, so ask him what's up there. What's behind the door that the ladder leads to? Oh, uh, you kind of like, I want to. I don't know. Uh, they have branching. Ask him two more uh, questions. Yeah. What's in the tower? Can you, like, ask them to look at well, what are, what's Mary uh, trying to do? think so? Right? Oh, That's what we're trying to figure out. Why is Mary here? Well, he doesn't. Well, he, Mary wants to try. People too. Yeah. That's why he enlisted them, right? Yeah, we know what he wants. He wants a dragon egg. Did you all recover the dragon egg Dragon egg for Mary? It's a, it's no, a good thing. Um, well, if you... No, we recovered a dragon egg for yeah. Ervin. So if you guys were fine with just traditional... Like, and brought it back here. This would be much cheaper. Ervin? Mm-hmm. You know, a little bit of work that's good. Is that a new name? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I have one more question. What's that? <laughs> Someone says, hi. Hi, Erica. Hello. Okay, wait, what do we know so far? What <laughs> killed you? <laughs> Well, probably the the pudding or the. Yeah, his I probably won't go pick it up, but you they probably. The party would of the month would have fallen to a pudding. Okay, okay. Well, his skull was gelatin. in the gelatin. Yeah, the, but the other three were in the whole other part of the castle skull. Okay. He must. The party of the month, they'd have to have been beaten by something cooler than this. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's not that complex. Mm. 
they're trying to decide the final question that they can ask to this dead person. <laughs> so yeah, he, he was one of the he was one of the members of the hero gang. Yes, yeah, he, he was a cleric. The the hard the hard way. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know anything about Alex. Um, Jade scales. Jade scales. Or what's through this door? Mm -hmm. um, but uh, he was hired to get a dragon egg, not for Mary Rumwell, but for someone named Ervin. E R B A N. And for clarity's sake, Ervin. not from here. He brought it from somewhere else to here. Oh, Greg. Do we ask him why Ervin wanted a dragon egg? The no one dragon. Probably not. We never. He's asking. That, that's a decent question, though. Why? Or what? For what? Okay. What purpose is the dragon egg? So we could ask that. Yes. And the answer could be I don't know. It's fair. We can ask him what killed you. But the answer is not going to be I don't. Know. It will be interesting. Is it that's the giraffe's cube? That's true. That's where. That's he what was. I thought. That's it where was. he ended up. Yeah. But the rest of his party was in the other place. What if there's something bigger in here that we should prep? We're doing it. Aaron, how did you die? Uh, myself and the other members of the Hard Way were betrayed by Ervin when we asked for payment. He killed us instead. Damn. Well. Oh, good one. Okay. He must have been good one. pretty strong to take on an entire group of four. Party of the month, even? Ervin. Well, those are my five, so you have a good one. Thanks again. <laughs> okay, okay, so... I don't think Mary is actually Mary. What? Yeah. I think they might be Ervin. Yes. Mervin. Oh. Mary is a common nickname. But I'm also I keep going back to evil makes Mary well good sleeps. Dude, I really just think he's talking about the bed. Also, yeah. I'm here for hot wings. And they're coming. He doesn't know anything about Jade's. I think we need to, as my mentor once told me, protect those who are, who are still alive. I don't know what that has to do with this conversation. That's fair. That's fair. I liked it though. Yeah. I felt really, yeah. But what I'm saying is I want chicken. <laughs> so, do we want to see what's in this cellar? That's what I'm trying to say. Is, I don't want my wings. We can go up here, but I know that you didn't want to come here in the first place. I just wanted to open the door and we felt the painful consequences. But at the same time, and he kind of starts to twirl his little, we got his new cool little thing. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, so we can go back to the old way if you want to. I'm yeah. I'm fine either. Yeah. It smells like patchouli. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Uh... There could be spectacular treasure up there, or there could just be another awful monster, and we are all gonna die again. Mm -hmm. So we could just go back to the spiral staircase. What do you think, love? Spiral staircase? Did we just open the door and see what's we inside? Go up here, we go back to if we just open the door, nothing will attack us, right? We opened this door and nothing attacked us. It's true. Can we talk about how Ervin apparently killed the hard way and then resurrected three of them to be skeletons yeah. as guards? Yeah. Not resurrected, more yeah. cold blooded. Or an undead. Well, still, like, you know, bound in eternal servitude. Yeah. Ervin sounds like a freaking scrub. Uh, it sounds, sounds like a necromancer. Yeah, it's gross. And that's an affront to uh, it my very existence. Yeah, so we should kill him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's your fight? Should I we mean fight? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just peek. Okay, what, what, what do you... Well, yeah, we don't I have mean, to since we're already here. Yeah. Okay. You just take a little look. Am I going to go? <laughs> I want to hand you back your... Wait, wait, you're ability. almost dead. No, we can't have... I got, oh, I got a little bit of life back. Wait, how much do you have now? I have 14 now. I have 28. Uh, do you want more? I mean, I would love to have <laughs> touch. <laughs> and that's what, touch. D four plus what? Uh, D eight plus what? Uh, D eight plus seven. Okay. Plus nine. Hmm. What's fourteen plus nine? Fourteen plus nine is twenty twenty three. We all came glad at the same time. Thanks. Yeah. Took us I have to say it first. Yeah. <laughs> um. So what are you doing? Feel pretty good. Well, I guess I'm gonna go check the door. Actually, I'm gonna put my ring on. Yeah. Okay. Here's the bag of holding bag. Who wants to spare? I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Put cool stuff. Put a couple books in what? here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you want to have all the things in the bag at all <laughs> together. Did we take chili. the frying pan? Our chili. Yes, I grabbed the frying pan Perfect. because it's silvered. And we took the topaz. We took it all. 
We took it off. We took mm-hmm. everything. Good. There. Here, That's should we put the topaz in the bag of? Oh, Did anyone want the scimitar from them in? <laughs> Does the scimitar speed? Oh, to make you go fast? Well, when you attack, it gives you uh, it's a plus two attack and damage. Damage. Plus, you can use it to make a bonus uh, action attack on your turn. Uh, I just can't <laughs> use scimitars. It's it's a very good weapon. Is it a martial weapon? Yes. I can take it. Yeah. No one else wants it. Well, I'll take it. Sure. Because Rodan, right what you can do is you can one hand your cool super sharp sword, and then, and then bonus action time. attack. You can attack okay. one attack. You, you have to put the shield down. down. But right. Hold on. We're gonna. Who even needs a shield? Yeah. Shield are for wussies. Can as both I of these. pick up my new shield. <laughs> I can put a freaking G over here. Yeah. And uh, tears is going upstairs. <laughs> so much crap now. now. I support I you. Like I'm gonna swap out this brown book for this black book. So it looks cool. Oh, no. Take a Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you once again. They're just too heavy. I know. <laughs> All right. So you're so going to even. going to open that door? I go up the ladder. I have my visibility on now. Okay. Uh, the door is locked. Okay. I'm gonna try to open. All right. Using my trader hand. You haven't failed at this yet. You're doing such a great job. Thank you. That's an 18. Sick. Congrats. The door swings open, and inside, a green dragonborn. Oh! Alex. It's Alex! It's Alex! Alex. Are you the is, he asleep? is he asleep? You're the chap. Yeah, what's the, oh, what's thank the, you for you? saving me. I've been in here for weeks. No. We you almost mean? left him here. <laughs> that would have been so bad. <laughs> oh, and yes, thank you. I'm so hungry. I'll give him a wing. Yeah. Oh, you got the process. I'm going to have wings. I toss it up to you. I got wing and I, and I put some sauce on it. It's a nice kind of salad. Really just of covered in sauce at this point. Yeah. Without Alex! Oh, that's so sick. Mm-hmm. Show the people at home. Check out. We got Alex Jade Scales, folks. Check out that detailing on the head of the minifig. Mm. Yum, yum, scrumptious. That's pretty cool. Julie's scrumptious. <laughs> This is not the appropriate mood for this <laughs> moment, but you know what? Hey, cool. we're celebrating because we found. That's true. Like, <laughs> um, oh, and you found my my family heirloom, the frying pan. Thank you. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, we, I knew it would come in handy. <laughs> the rest of the stuff we totally brought with us. And you found Pouncy. We found Pouncy. Pouncy. Oh my cat. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that evil wizard trapped me in here. Yeah. What evil was there? Yeah, Ervin. 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 Ervin, Mary. I just, well, he introduced himself as Ervin Soul Fallen. So. Okay, yeah. yeah. Soul's a little, little on the name. Little yeah. on the nose. Did his hair go like a, like a whoosh with a bunch yeah, of Yeah, foot up. Mm. It's well. gotta be Mary. Stupid Mary. <laughs> He's wearing a hood. He could be anybody. <laughs> Uh, th- for thank you so much for freeing me and for getting my my dear Pouncy and my family heirloom back. If you can take care of that sorcerer up in the tower, I will be in your debt. You you can have as many hot wings as you like for the rest of your life. I know you're invisible, but we pointed each other. Well, we you pointed each it. other. You I I could it. feel it in my bones. My 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 wing in bones. <laughs> Wow, he must be freaked out having the door open up to just absolutely nothing. He sees you guys down there. Oh, okay, good. Um, I take the ring off. I, I just have the, the fist up there for the fist bomb. It's chicken time. It's chicken time. Would you, would you be willing to stick around and cook us some chicken, like, fresh? Of course, of course, yes. I'll get making that right away. Just oh, yeah. please remember, don't underestimate this wizard. Yeah, sure. Where is I overheard everything. He hired a group to steal the dragon egg. I don't know what it's for. Yeah. But he's got some sinister plot for them. Yeah, and then got, he got killed them all. Yeah. He's hidden the dragon egg somewhere in the tower. It's not your egg. No, no, no. Right. Because you... I, we That's know. Kind of, that's kind of racist. Dragon. <laughs> we noticed the picture up in the room. 
Oh, that was me in the egg. Uh, I know it! You're right. Okay. Uh, he's in the There's dragon egg, somewhere in the tower, and he's just waiting for it to hatch. Okay. Hey, by the way, in your room, uh, don't, don't go to sleep. The chest in your room and your bed are mimics. Oh, yeah. they, they like chicken? Oh. They like chicken. We'll get you a new bed. Okay. There's also like a baby gelatinous cube out here if you're into that kind of thing. Well, could, I'm sure it's harmless. Oh, dear, this is a mess. I have to clean this up. This is my storeroom. <laughs> we, we can come back and help when, we're, when we take mm. it, if you need some assistance. Do you know where he is or what's up the spiral staircase? Uh, up the staircase is just the ruined remains of the rest of the tower. Okay. It's it's been crumbling for decades. That's encouraging. Well, I think this is an adventure we need to do right now. All right. Well, uh, we've checked out everything down here. Let's go. Punch him. Kill him. Um, up the stairs. Yeah, uh, Alex and Pouncy are going to return back into the tavern. They're going to start making their uh, making those wings for you guys. Um, you got any of their uh, potions of healing in there? Uh, I, I, I didn't know I had any potions in here. Um, there, there might be more things in here if, if you are uh, around the tower, though. Things... This tower's been here for a long time. I've never ventured all the way through it. Live in front of it? That's terrifying. That's nightmare inducing. I care more about cooking than climbing. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. over climbing any day, folks. Sweet, you said unlimited wings? All right. Let's, uh... Are you guys leaving? Yeah. Are we, okay. Are we heading where are we where are we heading? Uh, I think the only other place left to go was up the stairs. Well, can we also we could we could climb Barker here and come up here? Uh, I mean, there's some stairs right now. Yeah. Al Albert is just asleep. Okay. Should we go up these stairs? And apparently, this is the only way that he can sleep yeah. because that's the way his legs bend. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, hey, it's the spread, spread like an owl. Spread, spread out. Yeah. Yeah. Spread out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> five gold pieces if you pet him and don't get caught. Me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, the I go pet the owl. Meanwhile, while you guys pet the owl there, um, I'm going to go up these stairs. Let's see what's up here. Going up the stairs. And I'm going to give you a quick resistance to slashing damage. Next. I'm going to pet the owl. Um, no, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay. You don't have to. What? <laughs> Get out of here, Ryan Reynolds. Alright. And Bobo. Bo. Most of the time you're welcome here, but not today. Um, under the uh, crumbling ruins of this tower in the bridge lies a field of soft grass which has created enough shades for two myconids to dwell here comfortably adorable um yeah tree boys yeah um they when they see you approaching they uh they get a little a little timid and they kind of slink back a little bit a little myconid for the people look how cute uh, yeah, I do the adorable, the, you know, the influencer. The influencer. Hi, Alex. Welcome in. Uh, yeah. So they cower. Uh, they're they're just keep, keeping their distance a little bit. They're you know peeking out from behind the little mushrooms and oh, plants. Oh wait, uh, do they? Are they small beasts? Um, they speak no. common. Damn. Okay. Wow. Want to use the small beast thing? <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Um. Hey, dudes. We uh, hey, we don't like. We come in peace. We don't want to like disturb hey. your your living situation. But uh, what you got going on over here? They don't have mouths, but I see some spores releasing the air, and you hear some voices in your head. Ooh. Let's say we've been hiding here from the sorcerer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Airbin. Yes, but he's calling himself Mary Rumwell to trick people. Ooh. Do it. What are they saying? Um, so the the Ervin is Mary. I know it. Yeah, but they, they've afraid. they've been hiding here because they're afraid of him. So we need to do something to help him out. Is there anything we can do to help you guys? Uh, you can get rid of him. 
he actually he, he made us uh, hide some magic items. If they can help you, you can have them. Yes, indeed. Yeah. That'd be great. It's so friendly of you to offer. A sentinel shield. Ooh. Well, Medusa head. Hello. A potion of healing. A potion of acid resistance. Ooh. We should come up here first. And that's mm-hmm. it. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like you need the potion of healing. I'm actually okay for right Who's now. lowest on HP right now? I'm my max is 22. Yeah. yeah. My max is 22. Take that potion of healing, my guy. <laughs> uh, the breastplate that I took. Is that a plus one breastplate? Mm. So it's 14 plus dex plus one? The breastplate, who was that on? The, uh, the skeleton? The skeleton, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a plus one breastplate. So it's 14, so 15 plus dex? Um, is it dex for that? Yeah, up to two. Then, yeah. So that actually lowers my AC, not raises it, if that helps anybody. Yeah, no, my AC is good as well. So. Yeah. I can't wear armor and cast spells. Perfect. Uh, well, Into the bag. Into the bag. What does uh, the shield do? What does the sentinel shield do? Hmm, let's find out. What is it this? Oh, that's, that's my holy symbol. Uh, while holding this shield, you have advantage on initiative rolls and wisdom perception checks. So, is it it's a standard shield other than that. That's my rod. Okay. Pretty big. So you it'll place your other shield with it. And... Yeah, it'll give you the same AC bonus, but it gives you advantage on initiative rolls and perception checks. What's your, what's your plus to perception? Is it like stupid high? Perception? Yeah. Yeah, just four. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, the other one's a. Yeah. Okay. Why Here, you, you, it? Yeah. you want the plus one shield then? Alex says, "Have I missed?" I mean, I, my shield's already. Have I missed too. much? Um, I mean, we're like two and a oh, half hours in, so. Right. Right. Yeah, we we've been around a little bit, Alex. Sure. We can do a little recap. Yeah. I uh I I forgot to post Sick. on my TikTok story that we were gonna that we were starting, but um so so far the adventures have arrived at the tavern called In Plain Sight or I guess the inn called In Plain Sight. Um, And they discovered that a man running the tavern named Mary Rumwell uh, claimed to be uh, running the tavern was actually a wizard in disguise. Uh, They explored around the tavern. They found a lot of secrets, fought some, well, befriended some mimics. Um, They've explored a couple of rooms, including the dungeon. They fought a gelatinous cube. They found a, a beholder that was actually a displacer beast in disguise. They freed uh, the real tavern owner, Alex Jade Scales, the dragonborn here. Um, and they found some little myconids. And then they've got a little, a little campsite up there. Oh, and the, the, th- the, the group of the hero. Oh, yes. They discovered a group of heroes who had been killed and turned into undead people. Let's not forget the most important thing. Hot wings. Hot wings. wings. Oh, yes. Lots of hot wings. Hot wings. That's what this inn is known for. Alex Jade Scales makes the best hot wings. Best hot wings. Remind me real quick, what does the Sentinel Shield do? Uh, advantage to initiative. Initiative and perception. Is everyone eating wings? Everyone's eating wings. Mm-hmm. I believe so. Okay. Um, sort of divided between everyone, you can set 17, 20 per person, plus 12, 50 for Jack. So you're set 50 people. And her. Okay. Um, so you found those things with the mic in it. I remember all of this in the night. Yeah. You fool. I am a fool. I'm now proficient in 25 gold. <laughs> <laughs> so what else? I think it's just up the stairs then, yeah. Well, I think it's back to Alex. Yeah, okay. yeah the, I keep saying he's a sorcerer or he's a wizard. And it's very important to me to figure out which one that he is. Yeah. Yes. And we don't want to be associated. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. <laughs> so I don't want to get into it. Uh, Wizard read books and work. I'm going to college to do this. You are, you are, you're working really hard in the Thank you. I'm glad to be your friend, and <laughs> I'm glad to be a functioning part of this team. Um, <laughs> sorcerers just have it though. Yeah. And they wake up and the fireball or whatever. Right. 
Don't they have the worst for it. But doing they're like the it. ultimate Nepo babies. Yeah, that's, that's what I said that exact I thing. Shh. I've been doing this for 60 years. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go back <laughs> yeah. into the tavern, back in through the cellar. And okay. Dungeon entrance. Back to the tavern. And down. Oops. I found the eight. Did we add, sorry, did we add <laughs> oh, Alex yeah. everything yeah. needed to or wanted to? Um, actually, no, Alex, what's, um, what is your connection to Mr. Mary Ervin guy? Aaron. Like, how did he find you? He just showed up here one day and just took over everything. Hammer. Do you know why he wanted the dragon egg? I don't. He didn't tell me. But it can't be good. Can I tell you something so scandalous? I guess. He took your wings and preserved them and then reheated Re them. Reheated! So it's pretty even fresh. If, if you thought he looked dejected as having been a prisoner for two weeks, that is nothing compared <laughs> to the, the look that comes on his face now. Complete oh and God. utter, uh, just utter crestfallen. So I just want you to know that on your behalf, we're going to get him because we will not stand for the slander of your name and your hot wings. Not on this, our not Sacred this. Wings Wednesday. <laughs> sacred Wings Wednesday. I, I greatly appreciate that. I, I will get to work making some fresh ones immediately as soon as I can find you can, some more chickens. You can also take a nap. Yeah, you Good. can nap too, but just not in bed. Oh, I guess you've been... I've been sleeping a lot yeah, in yeah. there. Yeah. You said you were really I want to get out and do something. How about you make some wings for yourself first? Yeah. Eat some of those wings. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Hey, real quick, do you know anything about the lair of the cinder howl? Does that mean anything to you? Oh, yeah. Oh, plot. Oh, yeah, plot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, legend is that it's up in the the mountains. Uh, like Spine of the World Mountains? Yeah, yes, those ones. But, um, I mean... I don't know. I'm not an adventurer. I've just heard the stories. Insight check. Mm, what's your plus? Add a one to whatever that was. Add a one. Yeah. Um. This uh, this tavern keeper to you definitely looks like he is uh, a avid adventurer. Mm. Like he's he's seen the world. He's being humble. I think. He's been around. I mean, he's, I mean, he just. Whoa, sorry, I just had like a weird flashback. <laughs> That's really nice of him. He's a super great guy. I like Alex a lot. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to explain myself now. When I was living in Japan, we had a guy that worked at the bottom of our like apartment complex. Who owned Alex? No, his oh. name was Paul, but he owned a restaurant and would like cook for us. But he like traveled the whole world. But all he wanted to do was like oh, like cook wings <laughs> for us. That was like so wild. Anyways. Paul, shout out to Paul. This was for me. Uh, Alex, to answer your question, we've still got a little ways to go, so you, there's still plenty to go on this, uh, but they have been around a bit. Okay. Um, so you go through the tavern and back into the uh, basement. Yeah. Yeah. Through the dungeon. The dungeon? I throw on the detect magic again while we're having this whole conversation, so it's up for 10 minutes. Okay. Um, Just as we go up the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, you do notice this time that, uh, there's a door over here with an axe trap. Um, uh, oh, an, like it'll swing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, that, uh, looks spatially, um, like it would have come from the dungeons where you previously were with the gelatinous cubes. Had you come through that side, it would have swiped down on you. Oh, all part of the plan. Oh, sure enough, because that's what... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this Lego set is amazing, guys. <laughs> if you want to go and grab it, I definitely will when it comes out, okay? <laughs> well, up the stairs? Up the stairs, let's go. Who's going first? I'll go. Okay. I've got... Do you want my invisibility ring first? Sure. Okay. You're really nice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so, so you know what? I'm just gonna rope it on the end of one of my three 
Yeah. <laughs> hey, I am the fighter, you know? Yeah, there you go, Zoro. Take your time. There you go. Okay. Okay. So you're climbing up the spiral, spiral staircase. Put on the invisibility thing, and I'm going to climb up the spiral staircase. Okay. Uh, this level of the tower has a shrine backed against one wall. Carved above the shrine are five stone dragon heads. Oh. And resting on the shrine's altar is a lustrous green orb. Is a large a key head? rests in a small stand on the floor. Okay, so I'm not going to touch that green orb for now because... Is no. this a potion? It looks like the other potion. Is, is what a potion? Mm. This... Mm. Oh, sorry. It might be. Okay, so if you found it, it might be. So there's a key on, <laughs> just on a pedestal on the floor. Mm -hmm. It's just sitting there. Yep. Feels that like feels not. It's a crap. Nice. Um. Okay. Hey guys, you can come up if you want. There's no like monsters or anything. There's just a weird shrine thingy. Okay. Okay. Did you touch it? No, I haven't touched anything so far because I'm afraid of everything. <laughs> I don't know why your dad doesn't trust you with the No, sorry, that, that, that was more sarcastic. I'm afraid of nothing. <laughs> you're not <laughs> sensitive. And so I went up the staircase first. Okay. You, you, you proved yourself. You did a good job, buddy. All right. Um, okay, here we are. At the top of the staircase. Okay, so you, so you came up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and that's not even, I don't even have my shield and my bow on my guy right now. Um, as you guys came up the staircase, it is a small room, mm -hmm. um, in order for all of you to fit, you had to, you know, kind of pack your way in there, and, uh, Jack, um, you happen to be the one who, unfortunately, with my detect magic, oh, fell no! down the trap door! No! Wait, it's not Here's a magical see. trap door? Um, uh, no. He's going it's down the trap door. It's a mechanical it's trap door. Is it a deck save? Uh, <laughs> is that uh, yeah, go ahead and make a deck save. Good. 12. You fell into the dun the basement below and take 1d6 bludgeoning damage. Good. Good. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's okay, we don't get any it's okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Muscles are uh, double, double. heavier than. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so you can come back up, or you stand. Oh yeah, I go right back up. <laughs> <laughs> and then I stand at the doorway at the edge of the pit, and with my detect magic, try to figure out if there's anything magic about the key or the orb. Um, there is nothing magic about the key or the trap door, uh, or the door. Um, there, the there is a whole heck of a lot of magic coming off the orb and the shrine. Okay. What is the, I think I get the class of magic. Well, that's uh, fun because I have no idea. Give me the school of magic. Um, hmm, let's see. If you tell me what it does, I can tell you what school it is. <laughs> I bet you could. <laughs> um, actually, I bet. I bet this is a real item. Likely. I could probably just look it up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it'll say that. You might have to chat GPT this one. Uh, uh, this little tree here. It's only like 40 bucks. Well, okay, I must have them. I think any component is this one. Like, it is something different. <laughs> uh, it's something different. Um, roll, roll an Arcana check for me, Jack. Perfect. I forgot you were in jail. <laughs> Two. Mm. Can I give him the help action? Yeah, I'm I'll let you just let, I'll let you just roll it. Okay. Yeah, just do better than me. I did. I rolled that twenty. I hate <laughs> all of you. <laughs> well, Billy, you instantly recognize this based on the uh, swirling dragon insignia on the orb mm -hmm. as an orb of dragon kind. Ooh. Ooh. Um, this powerful magic item contains the essence of an evil dragon and is dangerous to use. 
Whoever controls the orb can issue a telepathic call that extends for 40 miles in all directions. Ooh. Evil dragons in range feel, feel compelled to come to the orb as soon as possible by the most direct route. Ooh. If the orb is used in this way... Oh, that's for me. Um, Guys! Yep. It's an orb of enchantment. So, you're welcome. Yeah, I think he's right. Let's only put it in the bag really fast. Is the orb activated right now, though? Uh, only one way to find out. It, uh... Actually, I don't know if you would know that. Or how you would know that. I'd pull a nat 20 on Arcana. A nat 20 on Arcana would tell you that no, it is not currently active. Okay, I was... Yeah, yeah that's... yeah. Okay. Would I know how to activate it? Or how... What, not that I want to do that. <laughs> Just like... if. if um, you know that you would have to attune to it. Okay. Uh, but once you attune to it, then you you would be able to use it telepathically. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so can anybody like reset the trap for me so I can play too? <laughs> Will it fall again? I don't know how to reset it. I push it up and it's not moving. Is there a thing? Mm -hmm. Change. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's the key. Oh, that's very cool. That's cool. Um, I would like to make an investigation check on the shrine before I grab this orb. I also um, want to see if I grab it if the dragon hats are going to shoot fire at me. Um, <laughs> it's not magic. What's your investigation? Plus seven. Plus seven. Um, no, it looks like it's just carved dragon faces. Five, five carved dragon faces on... Where's the shrine section? Um... Yeah, the orb definitely looks spooky, but okay. Um, is there anything? Uh, <laughs> if I cast mage armor, oh, that's actually really good. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna cast a mage armor on myself just in case. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to mage hand the orb away from the shrine. So I want to be about like, I don't know how big the room is, but as far back as I could be in the room still and grab at it. Okay. And may hand the orb of dragon kind into my bag of holding. Okay. Um, wow, that is bright. Um, as you do that, uh, the five dragon heads spring to life and snap at the mage hand, um, doing nothing to it, of course. But uh, mage hand. Uh, <laughs> That's also in character. Just be <laughs> <laughs> uh, and. Uh, as they snap, it does knock the orb onto the ground, but it just, you're able to pick it up easily. Doesn't in, break or anything. Into the bag. Deep into the bag. Oh, All right. Um, it's not activated by milk or hot sauce, is it? No, I'm pretty sure to attune to it. Yeah, uh, that, you, you rolled a one I think on your investigation, yeah, yeah. and uh, that would have been 5d6. Ooh, that would have definitely killed me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, that's where it'd be. Get my things. Yeah. Uh, with your D20, I'll just also tell you that the five stone dragon heads represent Tiamat. I figured that yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the queen of evil dragons, the five-headed dragon, for those not in the know. Um, yeah. Would have what 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 hurt real bad. She's the worst. Okay. Can I get the orb out of the shrine to put in her bag? Yeah. Now? You know, that's the stuff, though. They get anything. I just want to test the floor real quick. <laughs> Test test. Uh, like the spot where it fell. Yeah. Like step on it. Yeah. Uh, slaps back open. Good. 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 Yeah. Oh, but you didn't fall through. You're just testing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I threw your chicken at it. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken didn't do anything. It's our favorite way of testing. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Except there's a really good one to tell Um, should we go up this staircase? Do we want to grab the key? <laughs> but the the key. Activates the no, I think me stepping on it activates it. Oh, cool. Sure, let's grab the key. Everyone get off the trap and we're just to be safe. Get off the trap. Well, it's, it's open now because Jack stepped on oh, it and yeah. opened it again. Okay, cool. Um, so you just grab the key? Yeah. 
You pick up the key. <laughs> Great job. You got it. Uh, it's just a key. It's just a key. Yeah, no, no magic on it or anything. It's a red or the red. Okay, some actual wins for our ring game. <laughs> um, yeah. What else? Should we go up the staircase? I think we want to be done here. Go on. What's up? I, I mean, you can hop around it. Oh. The first time you just happens to be the one in the oh, okay. was there. Yeah. Then I'm going to parkour off off the little ledge. And then, bam, bam. Okay. <laughs> it's my well, if you're going to do that, then roll me in athletics or acrobatics or something. <laughs> it's a Roman numeral die. What's this one mean? <laughs> Uh, it means Seven. that you fell through the trap door again and okay. take an extra d6 of bludgeoning damage. Okay. How come well, we didn't roll a 20? I don't know what God of Chance is. You can see the Well, and the sad thing is he could have just walked around it, <laughs> but he parkoured around it and got a one. That's just a look in a heavy line. I was like, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, yeah, it's called. Cold. He, he pulled a gallery. Awesome. Get off the touch me. <laughs> um, but you can walk back up the stairs. <laughs> Just make your way back. Do you want to try again? Do you want to try and do that again? <laughs> <laughs> you don't tap me. Okay, so uh, you're able to make your way up the stairs here to another door. Uh, to. to um, good question. Have we get to what? I open the secret door to the secret. Oh, thing. D- do you do you want to look for that? Do yeah, look for look for trap secret doors. Um, under the stairs is a small alcove containing a what you see is a potion bottle and what you see is a giant wolf spider. Oh, it's like me. So. Uh, or when you say giant, you mean like the size of a person? Giant wolf spider, I think, in this is like the size of a person, you know. Are you invisible? Uh, I am. He gave me back to me. Yeah. He uh, doesn't see you. You're right. I still have poison stuff. Yeah. Spiders hate poison. Or is it acid? Uh, so you're invisible, so you're going to grab for the potion? No. I'm... No? I know. Yeah. That might be smarter. Yeah, I'm gonna grab Okay, make a slide of hand check. Ooh. Advantage because invisible. Advantage because invisible, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. I got two 16s, so it's fake. Well, the giant wolf spider rolled a nat 20 on perception. Oh, so, oh, so many 20s. <laughs> um, so it does uh it does sense that you are there. And it will try to bite you. Um, but I'm assuming your AC is higher than 12. Yes. So it misses. Um, and uh, yeah, you can just run away if you want. With the potion? Mm-hmm. You got the potion. You can just run away. I'm running away. Yeah. Guys, there's a spider down there. Don't go in. <laughs> oh, did you close it off? Or is it following you? Uh, out? I closed the door. <laughs> <laughs> really slammed it. Um, okay, so you found a potion of clairvoyance. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> in the, we have a lot of stuff in that. Uh, when you drink this potion, you gain the effect of the clairvoyance spell. Okay. Um, which I hope someone knows. Yeah, it lets you peek into places with a little or. Cool. Maybe I made that up, but that sounds right. Oh, here it is. Uh, You create an invisible sensor within range in a location familiar to you or an obvious location that's unfamiliar to you. The sensor remains in place for the duration and can't be attacked or otherwise interacted with. When you cast the spell, you choose seeing or hearing. You can use a chosen sense through the sensor as if you were in its space. Yeah, so you put a a little camera somewhere. So there you go. Uh, Okay. Uh, the door here is not locked, uh, so I don't know if you want to do anything about that door. It's in the way. Doorman? Okay. Check for traps? Check for traps! 
Uh, roll investigation. Oh, I don't see anything yet. Oh. <laughs> Got five. Oh, uh, yeah. Looks you like you have no idea. Looks like it's just the door, guys. All right, open it up. You haven't been wrong yet. <laughs> uh, open up the door. Check it out. And there are no traps. Lucky us. But you discover. Uh oh. Ooh, this sweet. space contains all the makings of an arcane workshop. Um, a red candle, a cauldron, assorted spell components, scrolls. And a lit brazier made from a humanoid skull. Ooh. It's lit. That means somebody was um, here for a I think that means it's a party, actually. Okay. It's yeah, it does. yeah, it does. I thought we, so. Yeah. Let me just use here to just move it out of the way. Uh, choo -choo -choo. Oh. Uh, I forgot. As you enter, no. Rick. Mary Romwell greets your arrival with frustration. Not you again. Go bother someone else. With that, the form of the innkeeper melts away, replaced by that of a crimson clad sorcerer who grabs a scroll and disappears yet again. But that is what he looks like. Again? Spooky. Oh, no. We want him. Sounds like a coward. Spooky little scary guy. This is the same guy that Radon rolled in that 20 uh, intimidation on earlier, right? Yes. We're trying, to, we're trying to remember that. Which like, may be the reason that he vanishes again. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> it's like the mummy in Brendan Fraser's The Mummy, but with cats. We've all had 20s when we really need them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, can I do some quick investigation in this arcane sanctum? For you sure can. Go ahead and roll it. Uh, it's not great. I got a twelve in the hole. It's okay. It's pretty. Nothing's really hiding that you can. Oh, well, that you can see. Cool. Um, the candle, cauldron, spell components, and skull shaped brazier are all non-magical, uh, but you do find a stack of coins worth a total of a hundred gold pieces. Mm -hmm. And some scrolls stacked on the tables are three spell scrolls: animate dead, ice storm, and phantasmal force. Whoa! Uh, does anything glow? Um, no. No magic in his magic boy shop. No. Well, the other thing I'd like to do while we're in here is like the the skull candle. I want to blow it out so it's not on fire anymore. Okay. Like his personal effects, I kind of just like throw him on the floor. I'm gonna knock his cauldron over. <laughs> 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 Forget about throwing him out the window. Forget about throwing him out the window. Yeah. Out the window. I should make a mess of his space. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just real, just real petty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you holding on to all those scrolls? Um, I I would gladly hand over anything you'd like. I'm partial to ice storm. <laughs> Hey, if I can get Phantasmal Force, that's the first. Be my guest. I'm going to give you the, the Phantasmal Force just in case. Into like, the bag! You want like the Animate Dead Scroll? That's an abomination. I, I figured. Yeah, yeah. Into the bag. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, Necromancy is gross. I'm going to hold on to this so no one can use it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's the. That's, it's never going to come up again. Yeah. No, not, not ever. <laughs> It's a mystery monster. So, can we get so obviously the the actual like uh set here? This is like open air. Is that reflect? Is this also open air? Yep. Uh, at this point at the tower, this is where the tower is crumbling the most. You are seeing that it is like open. Yeah. Can you see anything else around us? My perception is really bad. So um, not me, but nothing else in this room, but you. You can see that there's enough of the tower crumbling that you feel like you'd be able to like get some footholds. Like there's no ladder or stairs or anything at this point, but you could probably climb up. Does sure. it look like precarious? Like does it look like we're gonna like if we step somewhere it might fall through? Um, it gonna... it, there's definitely some loose pieces around, but uh, uh, you think that if you're loose. and you think that if you're careful, you should be okay. Right. Adventuring is like love. You can't be afraid of falling. I've got yeah. I've got super high athletics well, and acrobatics, so oh. I could I could try climbing. I have pretty good acrobatics too. I was climbing as I said that it's kind of like a punchline, but uh, uh, I don't have a high acrobatics or athletics. 
I'll climb it. I got it. I'll and I'll give it. myself resistance to bludgeoning damage. Okay. I'm gonna. I'll climb All right. it. Too. All right. Uh, so roll some athletics. Can I roll acrobatics? Uh, yeah. Athletics or acrobatics? A gaze at eighteen. Uh, I also got eighteen and wait plus three twenty one. Great. Fourteen. Okay. Still using that lower floor. Yeah. For right now, I'm still just going through my little stuff. Okay. Oh, three, um, three papers. Yeah. <clears throat> the three of you uh, make your way up to the next floor up the tower. At this height, not much of the tower remains. Resting on what's left of the third floor is a dragon egg oh. surrounded by lit candles, which you have been able to see for a long time. <laughs> um, but yeah. Is anything glowing with my glow sense? Uh, the candles. The candles are definitely magical. They're green flowers. Green. Let's not touch the candles. It usually means like acid. Or uh, it's Usually, it's acquisitions incorporated with the green flame thing. That's for maybe it's separate something. I don't know. I switch my resistance to fire damage. Okay. That's great. <laughs> I'm so scared. Uh, adventuring is like love. Uh, you can't be afraid to blow out the flame. Oh, this uh, From above you. The wizard. Ervin shouts out, that's my egg. Leave it alone! I actually don't think it's yours. Bro, you lit an egg. How did that come out? Yo, everybody. Uh, uh, yes. See, uh... Uh, yeah, so you do see there's a ladder on the wall that stops at the tower's peak, which at this point is basically just a ledge that he's standing on uh, with uh, a scroll in his hand. And I forgot to put it in his hand. Never. You got a scroll? scroll? Y'all yeah. yo, yo, want me to... Uh, is, it, is it this scroll? I didn't say it's the scroll. All right, you throw a scroll. It's got a knife. The scroll that he grabbed from his workshop right before he disappeared. Oh, wait, he has a scroll, so that's not good. <laughs> the person. That means nothing. Uh, yeah. I can climb up and do my whole intimidation. Hi. Oh. But if we want to talk to him. I wasn't going to talk to him. I was going to shoot the scroll out of his hand. Ooh, smart. So scrolls are flammable, right? Mm-hmm. Fireball? I might have a fireball. Fireball! <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys are doing this. I'm just like under my breath, spiritual wonder. Spirit guardians just <laughs> 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 Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take my crossbow and I'm gonna ready an arrow, but I'm gonna let you fire that first. Yeah, if he, it's like a point that. I can choose within range. Range 150 feet. There's no way he's more than 150 feet above us, right? Oh, no, no, no. He's, he's very close. And I want to, I'd like to center it so that I'm not going to get any of my, my adventure parting. As it, as practical application of a spell, I need to make sure that I don't get my adventure party in. That is wise, yes. Uh, and I would like to, uh, no one knew then what happened with the giant. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You learned anything. I'm not blaming you. Okay. That is the only magical thing he's done so far. Let's let him no blames, no blames. earn his credit. It's all good, brother. It's all good. It's fine. Um, <laughs> so I'd like to hit him with a fireball. Yeah, I've got my pen ready to sign off on your little certificate. Oh. <laughs> if this is effective. <laughs> okay. Uh, how how does a fireball work? Is that a roll to hit or dexterity save? Dex save, okay. It's a little, a little, a little guy there. Uh, what's the DC for the save? Yeah, my spell save DC is 15. 15, yeah. Ooh, got a 15. Uh, boom. So he gets half damage. So we can roll 8 D6. 8. Man, we're so close to winning. I can so smell the place. Here's some. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. This will work. I got it. I think. Yeah, here we go. Boom. Okay, not terrible. That's a 5, 10, 15, uh, 23 in total. 23 in total, so half. Yeah. But I also was really trying to burn that scroll. 
Oh. Um, I think the second part of Fireball. Read it real quick. Yeah, it Anything is, held? Yeah, fire spreads around corners of the nice flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. Ah, yeah. Dang it. Um... Yeah, I think I think the the scroll might not have burned. That's okay. Um, My turn. Well, oh. that was a surprise attack, so it is now an initiative roll. You have advantage. Oh, Twenty. Yes. Just kidding. Fifteen. <laughs> uh, That's what. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll take it. Glob got a twelve. Oh, Jeremy got seventeen. A seventeen. Torin. 14. Where you at, man? 16. 16. Wow, that's good. Okay. I Okay. And just as Jeremy is about to make his first attack roll, you hear a mighty roar. Oh, fetch nuts! As a huge adult red dragon flies in. I don't know if it's going to be a real end or not, but we'll just put it there. Because it looks cool. So I guess this is why we die. <laughs> <laughs> Kinsmen and brothers. Uh, it's been an honor fighting with you today. is fully that's crazy. Seeing did this come with this set or no? It this, did. It did. Yeah. This, is, this is the boss of the set. Yep. Oh, wow. Um, and seeing the four of you closest to the egg, boils in fear, lets out a roar and yells, Thieves! This is, this is really unfair. Um, I just want to say, this is very unfair. This is really unfair. <laughs> you think that this is rigged? Um, <laughs> uh, and we will take another quick little pause. And you can Before figure out what you're going to do to fe- defeat your dragon. We got to fuel and up our wings. We got to get our wings. Mm-hmm. Uh, so friends watching, we will be back in just a couple of minutes. So and uh, in case in case you ain't seen it, here's uh, Cinder Howl, yeah. the dragon. This is what our guys are about to face off against when we return in just a couple minutes. Stay tuned.
Okay, friends, we are back. Well, some of us are back. We're slowly coming back. In the spirit of the campaign, we got real wings uh, for everyone to eat. In honor of Alex Jade Scales. Okay. Ooh, I killed the dragon. That's my action. It's done. You did it. <laughs> hmm. I kind of want to reassemble this to show the epicness of this yeah. final battle scene. So. He's like final battle. Let's get his eyes. Yeah. Wait, this is it? This is the last boss? I <laughs> I think there's more after an adult red dragon. Adult, we got the, the bear of bad news. It's like a little creature. That's a little bit higher than a CR5. <laughs> I messed up my water again. Oh, like five. What's the CR adult red dragon? It's like 15. Yeah, it's like 13. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Wasn't it adolescent? Those are like five, aren't they? <laughs> no, like a wormling is like killer. Yeah. Or if it's like 5, 10, 15, 20 is the general range. Yeah, that makes sense. I forget that warlings are like the size of horses, too. Yeah. Damn it. Yes. This is facing the other way? No, no, no. Technically, yeah, but this looks cooler. Yeah. <laughs> they could sell just this dragon. Yeah. They surely could. Thanks, Dad. They surely could, yes. Thanks, Uncle. <laughs> Nick said, have fun storming the castle. Wow, look at it all together. The colors look so nice. Yeah. They yeah the, ate... art, the art on this set is uh, is really good. arting. Who did they work with for it? For it was to make the, it? Uh, mm -hmm. Wizards of the Coast. Okay. Yeah, it was a collaboration. The set itself was part of the Ideas series challenge. So a fan designed this set. And then they took it and they modified it and cleaned it up, you know, changed some of the colors. Got the license. Um, yeah, and that, well, they already had the license because oh, cool. it was already Wizards of the Coast and then submitted the the uh, challenge to everyone. Hey, turn in oh, some D&D okay. sets that you want us to make. And then they picked their top five and then there was votes. And this one is the one that won. The original, the, the dragon was green. Oh, the original dragon was sick. It really it twisted it around cool. the yeah. castle. It was really cool. Um, but it wasn't fully mobile. It was like built into the set. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and then the, the tower was uh, the the colors of the set were a little bit more muted. It was a little bit more like realistic medieval instead of like fantasy colorful vibes. You could see with like like the blacksmith shop and stuff that they have. As even as even as less colorful than the really? blacksmith shop. Yeah, it was like very like the roof was more like browns and tans and yeah. just very. Like, yeah. I like the colors. Um, I think the colors look really, really yeah, nice. I think they, 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 they did a great job. Cool and, like, um, and I like, because so many of these creatures, like a Beholder and a Displacer Beast and all these things, like you could never have all these creatures in one campaign or you'd be no. so dead. Right. So I like the way they're like, well, we want to have a Beholder. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't know, make an illusion. <laughs> like, we we want to have a Displacer Beast, make it a pet. Mm -hmm. Like. Oh, this is so the thing is, you could, you could also like make your own campaigns. Yes. Yeah. Well, yes. Yes. Like, yes. Yes. Unique story. Mm -hmm. you know. 100%. Mm -hmm. um, and they use these upside down fern pieces for the trees, okay. which is oh. very, very clever. Okay. So uh, a terrible roar fills the sky as a fully grown red dragon swoops toward the tower. The evil sorcerer blanches at the sight of the dragon and quickly unfurls his scroll. Um, let me see what I'm making sure. Healing I'm word. Huh? Mass healing word. That's <laughs> nice of him to cast. Wow, thanks, thanks, buddy. I really appreciate that. Sorry, I messed your stuff up. Um, I don't know what you did again. <clears throat> Dragon eats it. Are you okay? Yeah, so uh, let's <laughs> let me see what uh, those wings are killing me, man. Oh, no. No, not a 20, not a 20, not a 20, not a 20. Uh, Another 20? Man, we've all just been rolling 20s. We've all done Yeah, really, all, really all of us. Every single one of us. Uh -huh. Not one of us hasn't not rolled a 20. I mean, you've had, what, four now? Is this unmuted? Just three. Just three. Just three. Oh, shoot. Has it been muted this whole time? I just wanted to check and make sure. I don't know if it is. I don't know how we know. No, it's not. Okay, it's so not muted. Okay, great. I was like, what? Yeah. Great. Sorry. Sorry for the joke. No, people have been just here. Wanted to make sure. No, that's good. Okay. Like three or four crits. We've all had <laughs> You're gonna have one of those close. If we ones. if we take the average, then we've all had. Yeah. Like You're we doing two if we take add them all together and then divide by the amount of people too. You guys have been at least nine. Yeah. I mean we've had at least nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's okay, don't roll it when it when it counts most. I believe. Based on the last ten years of rolling dice. Have you never rolled in that twenty ever? I've never seen it. I've heard of it. <laughs> 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 Figured there was an urban legend. It's elusive. I can't even count that high, really. Are we sure your dice even have 20s on them? Is it <laughs> it's an extra one. It's just two X's. <laughs> Honestly, if you had two ones, it'd be so funny. <laughs> Every single fun. die he has just has I two. I literally have special dice that have three 20s on them. Just be like, mm, just in case. 
<laughs> but they also have three ones. And even still, try rolling it. Let's see what you get. Okay. So, see. Yep. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 There are three twenties on this list. There it is. <laughs> this time's a charm. Um. Okay. So. Cinder Howl lands on the tower. You guys are actually back here, but this one's yes. cool. there Cinder Howl. Hey, You're supposed hey, to be in the mountain. You. Guys, I think that's Cinder Howl. <laughs> Cinder Howl, is that you? <laughs> wow, you're looking great. Uh, <laughs> Cinder Howl looks down at you as you are all standing right around her egg and yells, Faves! No, 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 no. Look, we would never. From it. one woman to another during International, History, uh, International Women's Month? I can promise you, hand on heart, did not take this egg. Uh, Tears is still being here. I never went up. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tears a roll persuasion. <laughs> can I get the health action since I can translate for comic? And a 14. Thieves, liars, cheats. Uh, and. <laughs> And what? Oh, Let's nar. see. Or nar. Uh, yeah. I all. sure not did one gold. We rolled this wrong. Yeah. yeah. Wait, did we? No, we it's the highest I've ever rolled. Oh, yeah. right. Uh, I got yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, Jeremy gets to go first. Oh, awesome. Um, I'd like to turn to Cinder Howl and basically try and repeat the same thing that Glob said, but in Draconic. Like, I don't, there might be a misunderstanding here. See, we're uh, we're not the thieves. This egg was already here. The guy up top, he's the one who took it, um, and he's got some scroll for some reason. Anyways, please take your egg, take it back. We don't, we don't, it's have, all yeah, we we don't, don't want your egg at all. We haven't even touched Jeez. it. I'm sorry, it's here in the first place. Uh, who does for big so roll, You can see it already on it. Do we get anything extra for it being a draconic? <laughs> um, I'll give you an extra d4. Ooh. We'll use the red die because we're a dragon. Oh, that's not bad. Ooh, that's 16, plus my persuasion is 17. Mmm. A group of adventurers stole it! Not this one sorcerer! Is that what you said? What? No, it's it's the hard way. No, I, no, I know. Yeah. But... <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like this, we just we just got here um, for the wings and the whole thing. We really, really yeah. did. It's it's true. I'm hungry. I want you to I want you to take your egg. I want you to have it. I want you. it's all yours. Look, we won't even touch it. I'll take it from your burnt corpses. Okay, well that's what I have. Uh, uh Radon's turn. Damage. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. I don't know what it's I want to okay. do. I don't have good persuasion. Push this guy off the top. Are you up there? Oh, oh yeah, I have my bow. Yeah, just go up there and hit him. Kill him. You got like eight swords. <laughs> just start throwing. The scroll, I think, is the there's a lot of thing that we do. You think the scroll is here? I do think. I do think that's how he's communicating with the dragon. And I don't think he is. I don't think he meant for this to happen. Yeah. Also, he's terrified of you. Let's not forget the orb. Yeah, that can bring more evil dragons. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. There you go. <laughs> Ixnay on the orb. Okay, that's true. He is scared of me. Okay, uh, I'm gonna climb up the ladder, and I'm going to. Put some daylight in them. <laughs> yeah, for real. I'm gonna. That's surely one way. To you know what? You Why not? Me? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna dual wield the sort of slashing one and the scimitar of speed. Okay. Fourteen plus seven. Seven. So that's. Uh, 40. you hit on that first attack. Okay, perfect. Um. And then, which, what do I That's the That's for the sword. Okay. So that's already max damage. So right. Eight plus plus three. Yeah. Okay, 12. And then, Roll for the I, scimitar. For the scimitar. Roll and the the second attack. one is still. Yeah. So yeah. you get two attacks as your action, then the bonus action. So you've got right. two with the sword, then okay. one with the scimitar. Okay. So the first attack with the sword hit, um, and that one's automatically. 12. 12. 12. Okay. Okay. Hit that man again. Yeah, we're going right back. Hit him with the sharpness. Ooh. 14 again. So that's another 20. That hits again. Hits and again. that's an automatic 12. Perfect. Okay. Wow, you're you're poking them. Yeah. Yep. And then you get your bonus action uh, attack with Scimitar. Scimitar. Now, this will also give you a plus two on this. 
Okay. Because of the nature of the scimitar. Okay. But you don't, it sends it what to What do I roll? To hit. 20. 20. Oh, 20. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you won't add your proficiency to this. 16 plus 2, 18. That hits. You would still get your modified D plus six. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and then what's the damage? That's going to be a D six plus two. Plus two. Plus your strength. Also, yeah. I don't think you add it on, on a, not on your off rate. Gotcha. Yeah. Four. Pretty bad. Okay. You just did twenty eight. He's, he's feeling time. feeling real bloody. Uh, as you were. Climbing up the ladder. Uh, <laughs> nah, he was preoccupied with the dragon. So you, you got him, but you two are real, real close to quarters up here. Love it. Love it. So. Now kiss. Feel <laughs> <laughs> that smooch. All right. Uh, Torin. Oh boy. Um. Uh, this aroma of healing, is that a bonus action or a full action to activate? Uh, what is it? The flails healing thing. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> as a bonus action. <laughs> as bonus action? Yep. And that's 1d4 every round? I uh, correct. For one minute. So, initially, start out with, uh, to begin... Uh, we're going to cast Spiritual Weapon <coughs> and have it uh, go at uh, Urban. Urban. Mary. Uh, 19 to hit. 19 hits. And that's 2d8. 10 damage. 10 damage. And then as my regular action... Um, let's see, plus two or just two. Um, let's bring a uh, down on him. Yep, uh, sacred flame. That's the one. So he has to make a deck save. Okay, and sacred flame, you said, is just a five foot radius. It's just him. It's just uh, him. Uh, uh, he deck save 16. Time. Is that um, half damage or just none? Just no damage. Just okay. a cantrip. So I turn to the dragon and in Draconic, I'm like, listen, he hired the ones who stole your egg. How about I kill him for you and uh, give you your egg back? Roll pers- persuasion. Perfect. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, okay, okay. 17 plus. Four? 21? 21. Um, I didn't know why I was persuading. You persuaded. I was waiting. <laughs> you persuaded him real good. Uh, sure, we're getting Riz. We got Persuaded. Like, come on, Mama, Mama, come on. We don't need Riz. We got Persuaded. You see me? I'm killing him. Yeah. Um, um, She'll say, if he is the one who hired you, I'll kill him first. Okay, great. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. Gee, well, that's okay. We'll just pretend. <laughs> uh, Glob. I can't keep forgetting that's your name. <laughs> Glob. Glob. Um, okay, so I'm down below. I am. Did you get the scroll? No. no, I'm just trying to kill him to get the scroll. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Maybe Aaron. Aaron. With my, with my crossbow. Okay. I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna try anyway. Oh, or not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a uh, eleven. No, nope. uh, I think so. No, nope. just flies right past. I'm like, oh, that's super great. But she's invisible, so she gets advantage on it. Yeah. Um, are you invisible? Well, I do have my ring on. Has it been on this whole time? <laughs> it has been on this whole time. <laughs> sure, take advantage. Uh, 
That's 19. Mm, that does hit. It's much better. <laughs> okay. That's hot. 1d8 plus 4. Plus your 3d6. Are you are you aiming at him or the scroll? I'm aiming at him. So the jargon. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 19. 19 damage? Okay. Right? Plus your well, 4. 23. Boom! <laughs> with one bolt. Yeah, good hit. God, Uh, no. Um, Ervin looks at the scroll, scroll, reads from it, mutters something, and casts whole monster on Cinder Howl. Oh, thank goodness. I don't know how we can deal with this dragon. And then he turns to you. Enough, I'll kill you all! Um, and. Yeah. We'll cast some things. Uh, do do do. He's gonna attack. This is cool. You hit him, yeah. I hit him with fireball, but I'm, yeah, I'm down. You hit him with fireball. Yeah. You hit him. You hit him. Um. My a floating sword hit him. Ah, uh, yes. Um, yeah, he's got he's gonna attack you three. Okay. Um, can you see me? No, you're invisible. Uh, oh, does oh, yeah, because the ring keeps it on the whole it time. It does technically reveal so he might know you know what the direction the bolt. I saw the general area with which I shot from. Um, okay, what, I'm right next to what if I uncanny dodge away? <laughs> Okay, so he, do. he misses Tirza. Big. He hits you too. What did he roll? I have major armor off. Uh, he rolled a 20 and yeah. a 23. Yeah, so yeah. on him, I've got 18. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm feeling great about my 16. So, um, oh no, 21 and 23. Um, yeah, you go. Is it with a fire spell? It is with arcane blast. Whoa. Um, and so we'll just go with uh, we'll, we'll roll it. Why not? Uh, uh, 11 uh, force damage to each of you. Okay, 11. Okay. Wait, which three? Uh, um, or two, these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not mine. He missed. The third one. Good news, I still have six as hit points. Um, okay, still so got 27. Doing okay. That is more. Okay, it's one of my max. <laughs> it's one less than my max. <laughs> um, it is now Cinder Howl's turn. Um, <laughs> I feel cute. <laughs> no <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I don't know if you guys saw Midnight Mass, but I saw Midnight Mass. He's got holes in his wings. Oh, I forgot I to see Cinder Howl's saving throw. I haven't seen Midnight Mass. I don't oh. know what that means. What's the Netflix movie? Yeah, yeah my daddy. Ooh, yeah. Cinder Howl was not held. Oh. No, nope, not held. That's okay, he'll just eat the guy. She, she, yeah, women, she sorry, she, women, she, women's mug, women's mug. wanted to go after. Uh, yep. And, uh... I'm gonna chuck a bottle of hot sauce so it lands all over him. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of you are, uh, pretty close. So. Um. I think only one is. You guys are down here, oh, yeah. which is... We are, there. I think, still, I still in range of, uh... That absolutely. could be. That's entirely possible. Um... <laughs> The bludgeoning damage is going to be less than the fire damage that you're about to take. Probably. Can I jump? No, it's not. That's a Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm just looking at what attacks this thing can do. Oh. It's an adult red dragon. Just oh. Entire... Resistance doesn't give me resistance to it. 
to a type of damage, it gives me a d4 to a save. That's, that's a weirdly named spell. Yeah. It has nothing to do with that mechanic that we also have in our own game. Yeah. Well, I could use that several times in this. <laughs> this like when I fell through the trap, mm -hmm. or the other time that I fell through the trap, <laughs> or the time that I parkoured into yeah. the trap. Into yeah. the trap. <laughs> Any of those times we would have Parkour! Into the chat. <laughs> um, imagine as those cats that just go, Dwarf with a bunch of armor, parkour! Into the chat. <laughs> There's also so many dice. I don't like that. <laughs> well, uh, it's got plus 14 to hit, so unless it got a crit fail, it was always going to succeed. So. Oh, it's not a saving throw? Uh, no, not on this one. Perfect. Um, that means it's just a bite. We're good. <laughs> um, which means that it hits Ervin with the first one. Oh, roasted. Um, and toast. Whoa. And that does. I see his chicken wings we're about to do. Come on, you guys. Where are you? Is he good? Yeah. dead. Yeah. Bye, Irvin. I killed him. You Wait. son of a gun. Ervin <laughs> <laughs> uh, is dead, but then... Did you catch the scroll on the way down? Um, I think it was used at the moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. to that. Then it looks at the two who are closest to the egg, which uh, would be you and you. <laughs> Uh, and... One's invisible. But she's still there. One so. has a d4 on their save. <laughs> <laughs> Factor that. Um, and this will be two claw attacks. Um, I've got a shield, so... No, I don't have a Wow. Those two d6s both rolled one. <gasps> Which means you only take 10 slashing damage each. You hear me if I'm invisible? Yep. But, All right. But. I uncanny dodge? Yeah. So five. Uh, and it is now Jeremy's turn. Uh, okay. So she wants her egg, right? That's her whole deal. Um, I would like to I cast. a green egg if she's red? Well, there's usually two involved. Mm -hmm. I would like to cast Levitate on her egg. <gasps> okay. And what that will do is raise it just 60 feet straight up in the air. Okay. Like, and just and hold it there basically till I, till I need to not be there. Anymore. So you're going to put the egg right by me. Perfect. Uh, no, 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 no. You're much, much less than 60 feet. Away. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> it's going to be like up here. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Okay. So I'm going to do that and then turn and say, hey, listen, and Draconic, I, listen, I told you, like, we had an issue with that guy. You had an issue with that guy. We don't want your egg. We want you to take this. Please. Just take this on a silver platter. In a silver frying pan, if you will. Roll, roll persuasion. Okay. <laughs> Wait, never mind. Scrabble dice. Never mind, never mind. Ooh, how do you feel about it? Do I get the D4 again because it's draconic? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, here we go. Ooh, okay. So that's going to be 19 in total. 19 in total? Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> there's, a, there's a real air of like, man, come on, you don't want to be here, you don't need to be here. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to. Uh, you, you don't know if it worked yet, okay, because it is now Radon's turn. <laughs> uh, you can hold your action, maybe get down from the top of the thing. Uh, well, I'm, <laughs> gonna, up here? I'm gonna climb down, okay, from my perch, and I'm gonna throw down all of my weapons. Okay. To show all twelve of them. To show yes, all twelve of them. <laughs> to show this dragon, like, look, my beef was this urban, not with you. I'm just gonna <laughs> climb down, throw down all my weapons. I see just okay. Elizabeth Swan entering the bathhouse. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, true. <laughs> Pulls out the huge yeah. pistols. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Torin. All right. There's two ways we can do this. There's really one way. There's only one way. You can have your egg. Or we've already given you that option. There's also uh you you absolutely can kill every single one of us. There is nothing we can do about that. But but be 
before you're able to kill me, I can smash that egg. What? Take the roll, egg. Roll, and leave. roll intimidation. Wait, 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 wait. What happened to the sanctity of life, Mr. Cleric? <laughs> yes. I still fully believe this. This is a lie. Was it also in Draconic when you did that? Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and it's a lie. So only you choose deception or intimidation. Either one. Here's a twenty. Let's be a deception. The nat twenty that we here it comes. Here it comes. Please, please, no. I just want to live. I just want to live. Bless, dude. What is bless? Bless. 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 Hmm? You gonna fall? You can float. Is that gonna fall? This little book you have. It's my spell book. I love it. Nope. Okay, it really is just <gasps> time to believe. Part of the cards. Well, it's half of it. Half of what I needed right there. That's one of the X's. Um, <laughs> one of the two. That makes it a. 10 plus 2 plus 1, 13. And I guess it is intimidation because I fully in, intend to smash this thing. Okay. Um, but it's 60 feet of the Yeah. How are you going to smash it? Right. I can smash anywhere fast. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. For sure. The uh, range on the. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Uh, and our next turn is... Oh, and I'll just call some spirit guardians in case they didn't get the message. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just to be safe. Okay. And our last turn is for Glob. Oh. I'm gonna... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take my ring off. Okay, here I am! Here I am! Okay, okay, okay. Um, and I don't know... I don't know why. Oh, blow it all these candles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna blow them all out. I already blew one out. I'm blowing the rest of them out. Okay. I don't know. Is there any any no fire, no threat. There is a 20. I put my little dagger down too, and I crossed it. Okay. Turn on my weapons. Uh, and, then I, and then I say, from woman to woman. <laughs> I know it didn't really work last time. Oh, there, I also get a bonus action, so we all get a d4 feeling on return. So. Oh, okay. Me too. Cool. Oh, you're right now. Hey, AC pull with seven. <laughs> um, oh, no, I don't know. I can't stop. I don't know. It's all right. Uh, the dragon is going to look at the uh, Cinder How looks at the floating egg up in the sky, uh, and uh, looks down at Torin. Threaten my child, you weakling. Flies up into the sky, but as she does, thrashes her tail at Torin. Got uh, shield. What's your, what's your AC? Twenty-seven. <laughs> or, well, right now it's eighteen. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Uh, this whole game you had. To uh, <laughs> it's she does. Uh, Twenty-one bludgeoning damage to Torin <laughs> with her tail as she flies up, grabs the egg, and takes off. Okay, you sure the egg, but I think Torin got it. Bye, buddy. Go Glad you found your dad. <laughs> as that happens, Alex comes back out, comes out of the door of the front of the tavern, looking around in fear. Having heard this entire thing, now hears the giant beating of dragon wings flying into the distance. Oh, thank you, thank you. And then he sees Irvin's corpse just land, <laughs> land on the ground. Oh, oh, and you did that to me. You did. Oh, thank you for that. 
is not so happy about the the, the guts of the body that are splattered around no, we'll the, we'll the very it. tall fall from this giant tower up here. Uh, <laughs> There's an owl there. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the baby gelatinous cube, though. Mm. He wants to eat him, yeah, he'll put <laughs> Uh, and with that, you have successfully saved Alex Jade Scales and the in plain sight from the threat of the evil sorcerer and the red no, dragon, Cinder Howl. He's... Did you go down? Oh, uh-huh. I, yeah. yeah. I've been eating it. Okay. Yeah. Three out of four of us survived! <laughs> no uh, and I'll let you do do what you'd like to wreck that out. Perhaps the, the wings have medical I have properties. I have as I'm giving him a healing potion. I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what, man? You did so good and you were so helpful, especially that last move, raising the egg up in the air. Where's that smart. Where's that certificate you need signed? Yeah, let's sign it. Do you need three? How many, how many signatures do you need? Honestly, the more the better. Great. There's only two. Do you sign an off. Sign yeah, an off. We. Is there any other mementos you guys have that I can take to show my father that we uh, defeated an evil wizard? How cool is your dad? Yeah. He's kind of a lame guy. I just really want the birthright. <laughs> is he evil? Uh, I'd say. That's for next session. Okay, I'm going to hold on to the thing I was going to give you then. Um, uh, oh, these aren't for him. These are just trophies for me to show. Look, I'm oh, awesome. Okay. Here's a cool lantern. It's a lantern. Wow. What did you say? Lantern guiding truth? No, oh, really. Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> you said a lot more, though. <laughs> uh, you, know, take the, you can take the topaz. That's cool. He doesn't need any more, but he's royal. No, but it's shiny, which is cool. Hey, I never said I was royal. What Just rich, yeah. not royal. Yeah, there's a difference. <laughs> Sorry. There's a difference. Well, Come on. Give me more money, okay? <laughs> I mean, I found the scimitar. I gave you that. That's kind of the best thing I've done. That's, uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, He's like a quotient. What was this quotient of perception? Clairvoyance. 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 We could have seen what was in there and then uh, and prepped. Oh, okay. Healed everybody up. Uh, what was that potion? Put on my spells. So, Kevin, I got enough stuff. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we, have, uh, we have a leg of a spider. Here's yeah, and you got a, a little gel cube oh, from yeah. a guy. Oh, yeah. You get some bones from the skeletons? No, Here's some more legs. <laughs> Spider, <laughs> spider leg. I've got um, Ir- Irvin's bottom half. Um. <laughs> you collected quite a few trophies. One of the things that I really love as I was building this set is how many items. Yeah, they scattered so around. So much. Yeah, and just the amount of when you were saying that there was a lot of secrets and stuff. So like, don't watch reviews. I was like looking at it outwardly. You're like, I mean, it's it's got a lot of detail, but I don't know how much I could they see the mycanids, but yeah. yeah. But I mean, like the tree yeah, and the, the, the hidden door yeah. here, yeah. and this rock face comes up. Just oh, like so many yeah. moving parts. The mimic side of bedroom. The, the, the chili. <laughs> But the bed mimic, the bed mimic. Yeah. Bed mimic. Well, I mean, also like, or, like you're saying, like you're like, hey, don't watch any reviews or anything. I was like, yeah, yeah sure, the bad guy's back now, whatever. You know, like, <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, we'll figure it out. Uh huh. But like, that's honestly the, the amount of stuff, like references and just like things they packed into this is amazing. And like, and like, honestly, if this were like an actual D and D map, this would be pretty small. They just used every single corner of it. Yeah, yeah. I know. That was really cool. And we really almost just left Alex in. Yeah. The- <laughs> <laughs> I know. As you guys were debating, I was like, mm. <laughs> we just never find <laughs> Alex. <laughs> What's really cool is like, even though that when you look at the actual set itself, it looks pretty pretty linear. It is cyclical on the inside. Mm-hmm. Whether it's built out, it's really interesting. Yeah, and there's multiple entrances to most places. I was gonna say there, like we could have like gone up the stairs and gone uh-huh. out the door this way, or like left the door and seen what was out here. Yeah, and if you had gone in this door, first person through would have immediately fallen through the trap. Right. Um, you could have climbed up the ivy to get to higher points on the tower sooner. Oh, yeah. What's that thing we were gonna have to do? You could have just climbed up the tower first thing and gotten to the top and. The dragon would have come immediately, so it could have been a very short campaign. Ooh, good thing we didn't do that. Um, yeah, because you would have this had no information this was way with which to persuade the dragon. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> like us running back down through the tower, and it's like, oh no, um, skeletons. Oh no, gelatinous cube. Yeah. By the way, there's a dragon outside. I know. Back yeah, to- you avoided both of the door traps, the axe and the. Well, you didn't avoid the falling through, but you didn't go through the door for it. <laughs> um, you avoided the Tiamat trap. That was. A, that was good. Um, yeah, there's a lot. I, I had to uh, prep 
the areas before you guys came to make sure that things weren't just like sitting there revealed like right. the, like the mimic chest i had to bring out a different chest and mm -hmm. different things like that to make sure that it was still all yeah, hidden to make sure alex was in the center. alex is in there and yeah a bunch of bunch of little things i do like the ones that they chose i feel like the the four creatures that were five creatures. yes they chose yeah the they really iconic. It. yeah, yeah. Iconic D&D characters. Like, that one yeah. is so cool. I feel like the gelatinous cube was a, was a bit of a surprise, too, because remember you were showing us, like, the box of this set. Uh -huh. I don't think that was on the box. No, that, yeah, not at all. And I was like, maybe it's in it because it's invisible. Maybe they build an invisible Lego. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but it's cool. They, they, they got the, the greatest hits in. Yep. They even got team that. That's awesome. Yeah, and they, they put references to the Harpers, and, like, they put a lot of... Oh, that was the Harp of the Moon thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yep, they did a lot. Oh yeah, here's all the, all the creature. Oh, here's here's Pouncy. Yeah, they definitely they packed a lot into this set for certain. Very cool. Thank you, TJ. Yeah, thanks for playing, guys. Like and I'm glad sick. it turned out to be a good, yeah. like one shot length. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a fun group. <laughs> and it's like it's I'm I'm very impressed. I'm sure Wizards of the Coast was very heavily involved with helping them figure it out because they were probably like, we want all of the coolest creatures to be in the set, to be like iconic and like, well, a campaign with a beholder and a displacer beast and an owl bear and, and an adult red dragon. And like, like, oh, no one will survive. So screwed. <laughs> and also to be able to play like level five because any more than that. It gets way like too complicated. Yeah, level five is like the, the best yeah. for entry level. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like, honestly, I feel like starting at level one isn't even really worth it for most campaigns because it's so boring. Um, level five is really, I think, the best starting point, and it's... And, uh, like, the the magic users and fighters are still fairly new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and, like, someone like Dylan, who's played before but not in a long time, was able oh, to yeah. keep up just as well as people who play every week. No, it was great. I mean, you guys um, helped me out, for sure. Yeah. There's also uh, a without D&D rules section of the book. Awesome. Um, the following system can help you run the adventure without D&D rules. If you're not sure how to resolve a situation using the system outlined below, hot wing it. Um, so it just gives you like different way, like use, use a coin flip to decide what happens in different situations. And instead of keeping track of health, you've got like three points of health and like you lose one for this. And so they do a lot of like, like really it's simplified really and then the magic items if you don't have the guidebook they give really simplified versions of it so that's cool but jack i'm thinking man i trolled this one off the end and i got it i, got it. I oh. literally just rolled every die that i've got and still still had nothing <laughs> this is why so what was our final net 20 count i think i had three i i also had three i had I two Oh, Cheers! I have like four. Three or four. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I got like what? No, you got you, you rolled like your first two. We're both nat twenties. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> this is why I'm now. I need to get my own set of dice. Oh, Dylan, I'll buy you some. No, you have to. It's how the rules. It's true. No, the rules are you have to get the set purchased by a friend. It's literally awesome. I love the like. For a while, when I do, when I when I've been playing like little one shots that I DM for like my family or whatever, my in laws, they have a bunch of little Lego minifigs. I need you. Uh -huh. This is totally Bosk from Star Wars, but we're gonna pretend it's like a hobgoblin, okay? Yeah. Uh, that's just cool. That like we're finding that gap is bridge where it's like you actually have minifigs that could be your yeah. little mini. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. really and there's so much potential for like expansion. Like if that if yeah. it ever did happen, like yeah. if Lego did more D and D, like it would get so popular. For yeah, sure. There, there are rumors that there will be a collectible minifig series of D and D characters. Right. Who, okay. Who's it? Who would be gay? Drit Stower in there. Yeah. Well, so it's. I don't know if it's gonna be like actual characters or if it's just gonna be like different races, classes, oh. ah. things. They gotta get you did it. Fun. Impossible did it. dream. What's the tentacle face one? The, oh, the Davy the Jones player. Oh, player. That one's going to be in there. Be gnarly. So yeah, they've got they've got that rumor. Uh, but a lot of people have been saying we just want a like a, a pack of possibilities yeah. like Truly. give us a bunch of base plates and like instructions for how to make a bunch of trees and a bunch of uh, like a little a little room and some tables and, and chairs and yeah, and yeah, yeah. And just give us that and let us like assemble stuff mm -hmm. and give us like a multi-pack for character creation mm -hmm. like you know charge whatever charge like 50 bucks but give us a bunch of torsos a bunch of legs a bunch of heads 
bunch of helmets and hairs and like let us just assemble. So Forge is in trouble. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So many people would buy it. And then I think if they had like, I don't, I don't know if they will immediately because they're going to obviously be trying to sell this, but I think a little pe- like different battle packs of like a monster pack that had all of these guys in it yeah. and some skeletons and some, you know, whatever else. And like, they could do really, really well. I can also see them doing like larger sets though too. Like they could do like a full dragon sword. It'd be cool to see. They could do something in the underdark. Yeah. It'd be really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and I think a three by three so Lego square is almost the exact size of a uh, square on a typical map. Mm, the one inch? Yeah. Um, I think a three by three is almost that exact size. So they could easily give yeah. you like a little three by three, uh, like stand for your character to just yeah. go around on a map or, you know, do different things. Yep. It's cool. Sweet. It's super neat. It's very cool. Everyone watching, thank you so much. Everyone who joined, this was super fun. Uh, we had a great thank time playing. I hope you had a great time watching. Um, now I want to like get four new people and like do it again because yeah. like this obviously like you guys wouldn't be able to do it now be- and that's the other thing is that if you are the one building the set you have to DM mm-hmm. because yeah. you know all the stuff um but yeah maybe maybe we'll get another four maybe Nick and Tears and some others can can run it again because it's very cool yeah. oh yeah he's like been doing or you two could DM because you now know oh yeah too. Sure. Yeah. Now I want like I was I was joking before I was like maybe I want this set even more but like no for real just like the it's not just another set that's gonna sit on a shelf like the replayability like, of it like yeah. as, as like like, oh, like we need a one shot yeah yeah, yeah. exactly like, we like oh super easy to get in boy, boy do I have to learn how to be a DM and stuff because yeah. they got a whole manual there for yeah. you yeah. yeah but also like if you want to get creative you can run an entire one shot around like the beholder maybe. oh yeah 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 can be the whole thing mm-hmm. yeah. So it's it, yeah. You could rewrite the story with the beholder in the dungeon being the main thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, honestly, any of these. Yep. There's this place if you stop in the dungeon. What are we gonna do? Yep. 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 Sweet. And it was what four four hour campaign. Yeah. 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 A few little breaks in and a really good little one shot length. Mm-hmm. Very very nice. How much is the price of this pack? This price of this set. The price of this Legos. Uh, this is going to be three hundred and sixty dollars when it releases on April first. Um, it, uh, it's got 3,700 pieces in it. So it still comes in, um, above the 10 cent or under the 10 cent per piece average. So Hmm. it still is, a a fairly average price per Lego, um, for 10 cent per piece. So yeah. And you should bring the dragon back in too, because like, obviously the set, the set, it's not complete It's a decent size, but like this, I mean, this is all brick built. So yeah not complete without cinder how up there and there's like so many details like just like spikes on her tail mm-hmm. oh yeah they holes in her wings like. they did such a good job with so much of cinder how for sure yep definitely gets a recommendation for me and when you see like how big cinder how is compared to yeah, this it's like really nice oh game. yeah that's why this is a very hard final boss yeah understood yep Oh yeah. Those are just <laughs> there you go. Here's with the brain cells. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for joining everybody. Bye. Take care. How do I how do I end? Oh, end stream that button.